We got our own clique, strong clique. Welcome to Like Lika Podcast. I'm Chris, and we are here on a very special day. Rick, you want to tell us about it? No, you go ahead, sir. Joel, you want to tell us about it? Uh, you go ahead, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about our dear friend Angel. That's what we're doing today. We're sharing stories and um, just um, just remembering the man. His birthday is coming up on the 31st of December. So nobody, nobody wants to talk. Nobody about. wants to talk. Nobody wants to yeah, share any stories. Awesome. Everybody. Yeah. Was, Where are we at? Where <laughs> are we? Was, I, I heard Carlos in the background going, <laughs> "Yeah, man." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Fuck." I'm new to this. I was wait, waiting for a cue in, you know? So just I guess in. I just jump in. You just jump it's in. It's like double dutch. Just fucking... How well, about well, we introduce people here? It's Danny. This is Boggle. Rug. Joel. It's Rick. Chris. Yell out your names! <laughs> Rick. Your master of ceremonies can know those. Jose? Nobody's going to see you pointing, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who are you over there in the background? Jose? <laughs> And Mr. Third World himself? Sharif. 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 Hell yeah, welcome, dude. You're an audience today. I know, huh? It feels weird, dude. We're like... Yeah, <laughs> like League of Podcasts is being recorded in a live studio audience. We're just waiting for a fireball to jump on. <laughs> well, well, the reason we're all here is because in one way, shape, or form, we're all connected with Angel musically. Right. And some of us grew up with him and uh, have a, a lot of stories about him, a lot of good memories to share, a lot of shenanigans. And uh, it was a long ride until his life was cut short. Who, who's known him the longest here? I have. How long, Dick? Um, I met him when I was like around three years old. Whoa. Well, you, you just fucking crawled out of your house and said, hey, dude, you want to hang out? Yeah, so, pretty <laughs> much. Pretty much. <laughs> three years old. He would hang out, he would hang out at the park. Mm -hmm. You know what park? With the little, little park. Chesley Circle Park. Chesley Circle. In what front city? Of my house <laughs> in Huntington Park. What state? Um, California. Is that the nine zero two five five? Well, I was gonna say it's uh, an honor to be here. I know you guys know Angel way longer than I did, but um, when Rick hit me up, I was like, I was all over it. I had to dig in the archives and find some <laughs> old Angel clip. Was in a band with them back in the day, with uh, Danny Boy over there. Um, it was funny because. When we were doing our little HP talent show, right? Danny hit me up and he's like, yeah, let's do this thing, whatever. It, we, it could be a band. I looked at him like a band for hip hop, you know, and I, I didn't know like the roots then or whatever. For me, hip hop, it was always like DJ and MCs, DJ and MCs, right? But once we got the band together, dude, that shit was like magic. But the worst part was that I thought I was a dope MC and then Angel started rapping. Fuck. Then I'm like, I got to step my game up, you know? Angel's hell of a rapper, and I hope you play that clip for everybody, Rick, when uh, you edit this piece together. I'm going to put clip, clips in this shit, dude. He's got that flow, man. Uh -huh. Like People got to know, so it's really sure, dope yeah. to be here. But Joel, that wasn't his first hip-hop band, was it? <laughs> oh, he had it another. Wasn't. Oh, damn. It wasn't. As a matter of fact, Angel's first hip-hop band was the HP All-Stars. That's right. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Um. It started out with you guys first. I kind of came into the mix after uh, maybe, what, a year later? A Thanksgiving later think, or something to that effect? Okay, the HP All-Stars was this little hip-hop thing that we, me and Angel used to do. Because uh, I used to throw anti-Thanksgiving parties at my house. They were the best. <laughs> and they were, they were, they were fucking, fucking epic-ass parties. It was, the, it was so oh, cool yeah. how random they were because it, it, they were so spontaneous. It would just be us three and then... Fuck, all of a sudden, there was all kinds of motherfuckers there. Yeah, yeah. And that was the place to go. You eat dinner, and you come to my house, you know, and you hang out. And so after everybody would leave, like, it'd either be me and Rick or me and Angel, you know, like, one of the one or two, or me and Joel will always end up staying, like, the whole night, just doing an all-nighter, just hanging out and just fucking listening to music. And I had this old Iowa stereo. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a way you could, you know, like, record yourself on a mic, but we didn't have a mic. We had a broken pair of headphones. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we and uh, that's, right, that's right. And these, we didn't have any. Kids have it too easy now, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what 
but, hey, but that shit worked, huh? Yeah, and then, and I had an external CD player because the CD player nothing worked on it except the speakers. It was just like an amplifier, basically. <laughs> And um, so we'd play like say like DJ Shadow, <laughs> and then we'd rap over it nice. with over the headphones. So it was like me, Joel, and uh, Angel, and Nate. Well, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. He, so he came from a band. He already knew the flow and structure yeah. while I was still trying to pick it up. So yeah, and, and it shows, you know. Yeah, when, whenever we performed, I remember he called me about that too. He, actually, that's how I met Angel. He's like, "Hey man, you into hip hop? We do this whole thing called uh, you know, hip hop all stars. You should yeah. show up." Like, okay. This mo- I didn't even know who this motherfucker was, and then Angel's all inviting him to my house. <laughs> <laughs> to my house, not his. Yeah, you hated me, Chris. <laughs> it looks like I'm hating all my friends, like the ones I you know consider friends. You know, all my friends, I hate them first. You hated, it. yeah. You get, the, you give that vibe. I remember when I was little, but I was like, I, I thought like Jaime was. Uh, I was, I was follow, following Jaime around, and then I just see Chris, and he's like who's bringing this fucking kid with us, <laughs> you know? And I, can see, and I can see it from like 20 feet away. No, no, yeah, he's not going with us. <laughs> like, I'm just like, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking yeah. taking him anywhere. <laughs> yeah. But that's the kind of vibe he had, you know? He was yeah. everybody's friend, dude. Yeah, and everybody like, loved him as soon the, as they met him. I was just telling, I think I was telling Joe or somebody out back that uh, people would see him and, you know, he had a shaved head. They were like, what's up with that gangster? It's like, dude, that's the sweetest dude you'll ever fucking oh, beat, man. That's true. People always thought he was a hardcore gangster, dude. And I was like, yeah. it's the friendliest fucking dude. He won't hurt a fly. Man. That's, yeah. that's exactly it. Yeah. Our mom didn't want him around. He was like, <laughs> no me traigan ese muchacho por aquí. In a, cholo. You know, yeah, they always cholo or whatever. But one time we had, um, it was during the holidays, we had Angel over and... You know, for dinner, and we it was just like a family get together. <laughs> he was at the, he was at the, he was at the at the center of the of the dinner table, and my parents like fell in love with them. They yeah. were like every time if you bring up Angel's name, they my mom just like laughs in tears because she just had like that love from because he was so innocent and funny and like charismatic yeah he had that infectious laugh dude exactly hey dude i'm, I'm, I'm yeah. laughing dude because your mom didn't like any of us <laughs> <laughs> she fucking hated us <laughs> That's true. hey remember dude you'd, you'd, you'd be like come on let's go to my room let's practice i'm like ah oh, dude your mom's gonna get mad bro she's gonna get mad at me <laughs> she's gonna fucking like look when I walk in, bro, and I don't want to make eye contact and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. He's like, come on, booger. ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es ese cabrón? <laughs> she fucking hated all of us. No, no, At the beginning, at the beginning. She thought Joe was a total. <laughs> <laughs> so did the school funny. cop that one day, you remember in the rehearsal room in, the, the, in band? When oh, we, oh, yeah, yeah. They were randomly searching people, and it was like fucking me and Danny Azuna and then mm. this fucker. <laughs> and they look around the room, they see us two long hairs, and they go, You come with me. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they take Joel. What kind of gangster did Joe look like? <laughs> it, it, it wasn't. Oh, no. Hey, he fucking walking in sequence with the guys in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> with his Morrissey shirt. <laughs> <laughs> to your last cigarette, to your last dying day. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know that shit, Nick? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> West Side Story, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Danny, you remember that uh, Inglewood High School show? Oh, we yeah, perform. that was fun. So we're performing, right? It's like a mix of Hispanic, black chicks, whatever. It's all good. People vibing out. And at the end, all the black chicks are like, yo, 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 what's your name? <laughs> and I was like, I, m- me? You know? I get up. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. The dude behind you. <laughs> the bald guy. Ah, oh, shit. That's Angel. Yeah, Angel. What's up, Angel? <laughs> I was, dude, I'm like, not only you better than C, but you getting the girls, too? Oh, damn. <laughs> so. He stole the show and the women. He stole dude. the show and the women. And yeah. we went to go visit those girls like a week later. Wife, this was a long time ago, so if you're listening. <laughs> long time ago. Um, so I was his wingman, dude. Well, you know. He wouldn't go hang out with his chick. A long, long time ago. Long, yeah, long time ago. <laughs> not long, last year. <laughs> not last year. But no, yeah, man. No, but Mrs. Hugo, it was a really long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. And that's, that was Angel, dude. Who's, pay, who's been in a band the longest with him? I think Joel. Me, Red, and Danny. Yeah. How was he back then, dig? What was he? Uh, Winger's uh, Garage, right? Wait, you got a triple mic, Jaime. With the Winger's? Wait, what's that? Uh, Steve. Steve's oh, house. Uh, that fucking guy, Steve Ochoa. 
We used to call him Steve Stewart, Ochoa. remember? Stewart, yeah, yeah, there you go. Not <laughs> Winger. Steve Ochoa. Oh, that shit. Fucking uh, guy. Shows up with a pizza, dude. Oh, damn. We got damn. pizza now. Damn, burrito, <laughs> carne asada, and pizza. Anybody wants to have their half? This is this is called the fat ass cast now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sponsored um, by Coors and Modelo. Modelo hey, that shit made and well, Schneeberg. Remember that hundred one year old man fucking credit Coors Light to him living that long, dude. Oh, that's right. And then Coors Light sent him a bunch of free fucking Coors Light. Damn. Dude. And they died of cirrhosis two weeks <laughs> later. <laughs> Yeah, but you made it to a hundred. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hundred and one. You know how long you trying to live? A hundred is pretty damn good life. <laughs> if I yeah. can make eighty, dude, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like these days, I'm some 40, people don't make eighty. Let me tell you something. I'm forty two. I'm lucky if I make it to forty three. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, I remember. Yeah. Um, Dream more quarters light. I remember <laughs> fucking walking to school with Angel. And when he started growing out his hair, he used to put all that fucking Aquanet in that oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> Not yeah, even yeah. Aquanet. It was that that cheap nine and cent store stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and every day we every day before school, or I'm sorry, the day before school, we would have to go to the fucking the the bodega, the the nine nine cent store, or down Santa Fe. And he'd always buy two fucking things: a four pack of fucking Panasonic batteries. <laughs> And the fucking the the, the aguanet or something whatever they call <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we would go to school and that motherfucker would stop at every fucking reflection, dude. Not mirror, reflection, and fucking fix his hair, dick. Oh, that's right. And I'm like, dude, what the? He had all the caspa. Oh. <laughs> but on the fucking on the cars on the fucking reflection, all fucking yeah, all curve and shit. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah, but he fucking stopped at every single fucking reflection. I already know those himself. batteries were for the Walkman. Yep. He always had that yellow, yeah, that Walkman. yellow Walkman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had, he, had a, he had a variation of them. Yeah. He, had, he always he had, always had my had Walkman. Walkman. Yeah, they were always, <laughs> they were always <laughs> hand me downs from this fucker, dude. Yeah. I remember right, when I worked with him, I was at a Walkman on them break. He would be shit right there. Let's fucking Walkman. This shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing this shit the whole time. Like. <laughs> remember he would get the Walkman? And try to shake it back to life, like the fucking like like that's gonna fucking bring back the battery and shit, Nick. Did he do a Nintendo? We fucking blew that shit. <laughs> no, he'll take the batteries out and switch them in positions <laughs> to make sure to get all the little last drop of fucking juice out of that shit. Dude. Did he throw them in the fridge? In the freezer? I I never I never been. In, you know what's funny? I never been inside his house. I have, I have, I have. I just remember seeing the cassettes yeah. on the window, the you, other people's you cassettes. Hmm? You you had? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know what this. Did I? I remember we would. Uh, hey, I would call on. him. Yeah, <laughs> I would fucking call him right to let him know that we had practice at Jaime's room and shit. Right? Hey, you know he'd fucking like pick up the phone. What's up? Hey, Dick, we're gonna practice at Jaime's today. All right, oh. I'll see. I'll, I'll go over there. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> fucker wouldn't show up, right? Hey, he wouldn't fucking show up. Remember that shit? And yeah, then all the time. Jaime would get all fucking pissed. He'd be like, man, fucking call Angel, man. So I fucking call Angel again. And, and then he would answer the phone, but pretend he was his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and he would go like this. He would go, what? <laughs> and I'm like, it's true. And then, and he would do it so good that I would pause and I'd be like, it's the angel, <laughs> and, then, and then she would, he would go. He would go. No talking. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny, yeah. dude. But oh, we would call, we would call. He go. <laughs> the way his grandma sounded, yeah. Dick. I never could tell the difference. Dude. <laughs> that was some shit, though. We used to have to hunt him down. Huh? Yeah. We had practice. It was always somebody go get Angel. And he was flaking out. One time I went to his job, dude, because yeah. we had booked a room. And he's like, I can't get out right now. He's working at that mattress place in Southgate on mm. Firestone. Silly. Uh, silly. Yeah. And he came out and he's like, I can't get out for another two hours. I'm like, dude, we booked it, blah, 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 in an hour. He's like, fuck it, all time I have an emergency. He went inside, dude. He goes, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we booked it, dude. I was like, are you serious? Honestly, dude, I think he got fired like a week later, oh, yeah. dude. He was, uh-huh. oh, man, he's wild, man. That's so crazy, dude. It's fucking crazy. I think he used to get nervous even about rehearsal, like in retrospect. Like, I, you know, I, I think at the time we thought of him as like a flake, you know, maybe he was in certain things. But like, I think a lot of it had to do with like his nerves and and just being uh, just nervous. Like, <coughs> like yeah. you, you said he wouldn't hurt a fly. I remember when we used to have house parties and there was even if there was a hint of like a fight to break out, he was the least violent guy yeah. like. Like the at the end of the night, we'll see him like turning the corner. He like <laughs> left. <laughs> he just didn't want. He, you know, he, he didn't, didn't want any of it. He didn't want any part yeah. of it. You know, and I mean that. I I think that's goes to show like like his you know his character and who he was. Not yeah. that he was 
scared. He just didn't want any of it, and he was he wasn't about that. Yeah, he, he was just a friendly that. dude. Even though his appearance I, was mis, mm-hmm. you know, misleading. Yeah. I, th- I I think the only time I ever even heard of him almost potentially oh, <laughs> getting I, into I, a fight I, was yeah. against fucking. Eric. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> against Eric, uh, the uh, second most nonviolent person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. he always complimented. That's one thing about him. He always complimented you. Yeah, Whenever he always. Yeah, dude, but, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, so we're going back to the fight, dude. I never seen somebody. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear this fight. This I, fight. It was, it was in front of my old house right there on Cottage and Zoe, and fucking, they were just arguing. It's like that's where you. That's where. You, that's where Chris goes. Hey, dude. They, they're arguing so much. He's like, hey, they imagine these two fools on the $10,000 pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> put, it to, put it to you this way. I probably heard of that fight like in the morning. And then I checked in later just to say what's up. It was probably still going it on. It still going on. <laughs> <laughs> they going on. And they had it moved. <laughs> they, they just like, they're like, come on, let's go out of here, dog. Let's go out of here. And they just, give me a second, dick. <laughs> He's fucking peeling off like shirts, like fucking oh, like, yeah. like a banana peel, dude. Yeah, he would have like, he would wear like 30 shirts. Yeah. He did. Oh, yeah, he, he's, and a sweater. <laughs> and a jacket on top of it. We used to tell him, we used to make fun of him. Like, we used to make fun of him like at school. Cause uh, we'll be like, hey, he puts on like eight shirts and one for every day of the week. He just kills it off, dude. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, if we're, if we're gonna talk he, about, he's topless on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If, if we're gonna talk about his clothes, what about them pants? Oh, Fuck, oh dude. My god, you. <laughs> the size fifty two pants, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can fit another four people in that shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I, well, he, I, like, still, I still, still remember we we always go to Goodwill to look for his clothes and shit, dude. And then one day he's like, "Fuck yeah, dog! Fuck yeah!" He drops his headphones. He's like, "Boosh!" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking big ass pants. It looked it looked like the sample at Greenspan. <laughs> right? You gonna go sailing? He goes. Size 52, man. Oh. He put them on and he, he folded those shits like my fucking, <laughs> like my curtain thing <laughs> with the belt. Oh my God. Oh, and then they, they're so big, they swallowed his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> He couldn't even see his fucking shoes. They look like fucking curtains at the movie theater and shit, dude. He looks like a dress he's coming at you, dude. Long ass dress. Those fucking things look like baggy bell bottoms. Yeah, yeah dude. That fucker had room in there, dude. Yeah. That fucker had room, dude. Small feet. Small ass <laughs> feet. Hey, he, had, he, had, speaking, he had bitch feet, and he's always borrowed my fucking size 13 shoes, Dick. Hey, speaking of his feet, Dick, uh, what about the time, <laughs> fuckhead, oh, God. you thought there was a dead rat in your room? <laughs> Remember that, Dick? <laughs> you remember that shit, I, I just came back from uh, two weeks of, of training and I had let him stay at the house because grandma kicked him out. <laughs> I was trying to hook up with this chick and we get in the bed and I'm like, fuck, what the fuck's that smell? <laughs> and, then, and then we're like, nah, I'm like, ignore the smell, ignore it, ignore it. Then they hit me, dick. And I'm like, fuck, it fucking something stinks. So we're like, we stop what we're fucking doing. The first time I'm telling you, I ever got cock blocked by a smell, dude. Damn. <laughs> we started searching. Like you can smell the head of my bed. It's stunk. It was like pulled all the cover off, covers off, and then the smell kind of went away. And then we're like, all right. We start sniffing around. Start sniffing the carpet. And you can smell like one here. Can hound dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. We we're finding this shit. It, it smells fucking nasty. We get to my fucking closet. I throw everything out, and the last thing, and in the fucking corner. <laughs> Balled up and hard as fuck. <laughs> was a fucking pair of socks, dude. <laughs> and I, I still, dude, I still fucking like try not to fucking cry. Oh, peel it. Oh, it's all hard. Oh my gosh, Looking for dude. a dead rat. Like, oh, he must have, he must have, he must have caught a dead rat in here. Like I'm like I'm expecting to find the rat and I just pull it. <laughs> Nothing, oh dick. Oh my god. That was his fucking feet, dick. Ew. So you basically oh got cocked by Angel's essence. Yep. <laughs> Damn. By, by his spirit, oh dick. You got feet blocked. But the way he used to wear his shoes, and a lot of people don't know, because he used to let his toenails go the fuck out, dude. Oh, <laughs> they look like skis but upside down and shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but he used to fucking ball up the he used to wear those big ass knee side hawks. Oh, yeah. But if you remember, they were always ankle socks. He rode the fuck out of them in the front of the shoes like a fit, dude. Oh, my God. Like, I remember he goes, he goes, hey, let me borrow your head knees. I'm like, I don't know, dick. And he's that fucking, knees. next thing I know, he's fucking wearing them. <laughs> like, you can have them, dick. You can fucking have them, dick. Hey, I, I remember the night before that, I believe. 
and I have the pictures. We were uh, kicking back in your room, drinking uh, fucking Mickey's all night. Remember that? We we were like, what, is, yeah. what the fuck died in here? Yeah. <laughs> we're all laughing like so, like a cat died outside, and I'm just smelling from the outside, dick. Oh nope, it was his fucking stinky ass feet. Remember the funeral? The lady, yeah. the funeral director, she comes out. She goes, she's la- she's laughing at the stories about his feet. Yeah. And she comes like, hey, I, I gotta tell you guys, I, I don't I don't do this, but. That was some of the nasty feet I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's a, and, and she goes, and I dress homeless people. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh Rick and Mortis. <laughs> they were fucking bad. They were fucking bad. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one disgusting story about him, and that'll be it for me. But one time he was hooking up in my garage, and I, I walked in. What was he hooking up? Like uh, um, electrical outlets? Or? <laughs> We'll say audio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just plugging the earphones in. Oh, okay. Cool. But uh, fucking all I saw was my covers, his legs, and his fucking <laughs> socks unfurled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. For all the <laughs> listeners, we're we're not like ragging on Angel. He was just at the brother status when we could that we could say anything yeah. about. Yeah, him. yeah dude, it's all love, man. It's yeah, all love. Dude. Yeah, we're all brothers here, so you know it's in good fun. This is how we. He would dish it back. So. You know, I used yeah. to trip yeah. out because I used to work with him. Yeah, I used to work with Chris and, and him, and um, he used to take the bus sometimes, and he always came back with numbers. He yeah. hooked up with girls all the time. Like, check it out, yo. I got like yeah, five yeah, numbers I, on I the know. bus. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, serious. Like, yeah, dude, check it out. Dude, check it out. Every week he had a number from some girl and some crazy shit. Like, I, I stopped at the liquor store and, dude, I got this girl's number. Check it out. It's like, God damn, dude. He's, he was a fucking, he was a talker, dude. Yeah, he was. He, was, he, he was. fucking talked to those women, man. He's, yeah. I'm like, dude, teach me. Hey, but you know, you know, sometimes, though, he, he had better writing than the fucking bitches he fucking picked up on, dude. Yeah. He had some nice ass yeah, writing. He did. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, I could read that girl's, that girl's name dude, easily. Yeah. He could Alicia. be. He, he could be working for Hallmark right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like you, little. <laughs> Somebody guys talk about his vernacular, dig? Yeah. That motherfucker had his own shit, dude. Hey, My little. He'd always say he, lacra. Lacra. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't know what that means, dude. All right, lacra. He fucking every time we'd say something stupid or do something stupid, he'd say we'd fucking won the golden corn award yeah <laughs> presented by don cornelius because yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> the joke was corny yeah <laughs> that goes back to junior high dude it's yeah it does show, dude does dude. anybody have any like recordings like legit recordings of them back in the day like when you guys were on the bands and shit dude the infamous gray tape is floating around somewhere dude you fucking bastard dude. and that's, that's like fucking awesome fucking that tape. was like five songs that chris myself and angel recorded Ugh. of us like literally making up fucking fucking around doing HP All Star shit raps, and they were just fucking coming, dude. And they were flowing, and they were funny as fuck, and it was awesome. And we recorded it on Chris's I fucking Idaho or Iowa, I, Iowa, yeah, <laughs> Iowa. And uh, it fucking disappeared. Yeah, that fucking Ooh. tape disappeared. One of you, one of you fuckers took it. I know that for sure. Dude, I searched God and country for that fucking tape at home, <laughs> dig, and nothing. Oh, oh, Nate was in that band too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nate, yeah. Nate was in that band. Nate, yeah. Our so, group. so, you know what? Since he's not here, he has it, Dick. <laughs> Since he's not here, he has yeah, it. He has it. Fucking Nate. <laughs> Fucking Angel was talented as hell, man. I remember when Danny told me that he could sing too. I was like, sing? I was like, what? This is back in the day when there were no Drakes. So, there wasn't any <laughs> rapping and singing going on except for maybe Mos Def. Like, dude, fucking can sing, dude. And I like. Really, I regret that we didn't get to record. Right. Like I was telling Rick earlier, I'm like, these kids have it too fucking easy, dude. Mm-hmm. Imagine we were able to record all that shit. Like we couldn't though. Like to get yeah. to the studio was what? You had to pay. Pay just four like hundred bucks an hour. Hundred bucks an hour. Yeah. Now you can do it off your iPhone, dude. What fucking I would give crazy. to have a couple hundred dollars. <clears throat> we didn't even have cameras back then, dude. We didn't even have cameras. I don't know, That's right. like. Yeah, we did. They were like, <laughs> they're rocket launchers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Joe's fucking camcorder. Dude. Yeah, like. <laughs> That's why he's buff. He was carrying that shit around. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's schlepping that fucking Channel Nine news camera. Uh, hey, but that was only one side. He got he got gains from the other side from jacking off, dude. <laughs> even, even it out. Yeah, dude. Like, that's no, why he walked around he, like this. Like. But he was a hard worker, man. Yeah, dude. Half full, yeah. dedicated. Whatever he did, he did it to the max. Yeah. We, we worked with him Montney, and then fucking this motherfucker always tried to motivate us. Come on, dude, we got this, we got this, we got this. 
Ten minutes later, she's taking a fucking smoke break. <laughs> of course. <laughs> fucking Chris. Yeah, and then fucking Angel's like still busting his yeah. ass. Come on, dude. Let's get this shit fucking done, man. Wait, stop got- fucking run, you fucking Indian. You would, hey. would do it like like right before like he got in. Because <laughs> it was some fucking ugly ass work. We're like shoveling ash and shit and like picking that stuff with oh, an axe. I heard about this job. Yeah. And fucking <laughs> right before, like we take turns because like it was hot. You know, it, it was it was really hot in there, so we take turns. Like, oh, I can't take it anymore. You know, so everybody would take breaks. So like, one person would go in there and shovel some fucking hot ash, and the other guy would come out. So right before Angel came, <laughs> Angel would go in. He fucking slap his hands like you know, like 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 jumping jack, and then you do like ten push ups, and then he would jump in there with the shovel. <laughs> It's like what the fuck, dude? You'll do like an ultimate warrior move, He's like, like power it up. Get the power, dig, like, and then you jump in there and you put the shovel. Are you the one that told me about he had an acid flashback once when you? Yes. Had a, tell me that story. Yes, tell yes. That story, man. So, Angel took a lot of acid. Like he would, like for those time where Angel did acid like every day for like six months or some crazy shit. Right. And every once in a while, Angel would have this fucking glazed look. For no fucking reason. I don't know if you guys ever saw it. <laughs> but he would like he would like just stare at you for a second, like like you're like, what the fuck, Angel? Like mm-hmm. And I finally asked him and we were like in this fucking thing with they called the pit and it was like where all the fucking raw sewage would drip. And then we'd have to clean that shit out, right? It was awful. It was an awful fucking job. Give out yeah. a shout out, Dick. Shout out to Martin Nate Pacific Power Arm. <laughs> <laughs> on Ford Ad- on Henry Ford Avenue in Long Beach. Oh. Okay, so he was just staring just like blankly and I'm like hey you alright you cool I just had an acid flashback I was like what how often do you have them every day (laughs) (laughs) I was like what the fuck dude Uh, (laughs) and so every time he had that glazed look in his eye I was like oh he's having an acid flashback right now that's what I would (laughs) attribute it to so it's all the stories. Late. <laughs> Late. <laughs> and that was uh, the Click of Podcast. <laughs> it, fucking about the time he fucked up my hair. <laughs> oh, you mean the time you guys both went blonde? Yeah. <laughs> Prof- <laughs> fucking. He goes, he goes, look what I did to my hair, fool. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Your blonde hair, you know, black roots. And I'm like, <laughs> I go, do mine. He goes, let's go get some peroxide, dude. <laughs> so we fucking go to hey, wait, He didn't Save do his on. own hair. I did it for him, dude. Yeah, oh, well, he, he did fucking, it. He said he did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and fucking fuck liar, it. dude. Hey, and he fucking uh, he goes here, Dick. Let me let me show you. And I think we were in your bathroom, Dick. Yeah, I know. I right? had to clean up, Dick. Yeah, and he fucking just doused my head in peroxide, dude. <laughs> and that fucking hey, an hour later, my shit was orange, dude. <laughs> right, dude was he looked like orange. fucking. He looked like fucking Wesley Snipes <laughs> from Demolition Man, dude. You remember Demolition Man? How you had that fucking strike, <laughs> dude? Oh, I had. I was fucking wa- rock, walking around with hair like that for what? Fucking almost a month at dude. least. After I said fuck it, dude, I'm just gonna fucking shave it off, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, that was so fucking funny. But to Angel's credit, he was blonde before Eminem, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick, dude. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Where is it at? Where is it at? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, where's the astronaut? No, you're just like... That's what Joe looked like, dig. <laughs> That's what Joe looked like, dig. <laughs> Crying, dude. Oh, oh my fuck. god! Oh my god! Yeah, dude. I used to fucking. Uh, I used to do his hair, so he used to always have me shave it. Remember? Yeah. So I used to fucking tie a rubber band around his hair, and just pull it up, and that was my cutting line. So I fucking fuck? shave it, dig. But more, more caspa fell out than fucking hair. <laughs> it was like fucking look like a snow machine, dig. 
You remember <laughs> his, uh, his hair started looking like the fucking froed hair from the. It was just, it, it was just like one piece of hair. Yeah. And it looked like the, those feral kids from fucking uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it was just one piece of hair. Dude, guys, I remember I started his hairline like like right around the fucking temple, dude. And then, he, you know, this motherfucker can't hold still for a second, dude. So I'm like, hey, don't move, dick. Hey, dick. <laughs> so like within a month, he had a kind of a mohawk going, dick. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> did, he play, did he play any instruments? I I never seen him like. He play guitar. Guitar. He play guitar. Pretty good. Yeah. He's badass. Mm. He, he, go, he used to go serenade uh, preteens at Circle <laughs> Park with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? The longest band he was in was the Jerks. That was the longest band he was in. No shows. No recording. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah, but. It was, okay, the jerks was another thing that we used to do to get our creative juices flowing, and it was like this folk acoustic <laughs> duo, me and him. We never did anything with it, but we made up to like the most inappropriate, most racist, like everything was bad about these songs. Well, good thing you didn't record those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to host the Oscars, you, you know? Won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll dig that shit up. So, Chris, hosting the Oscars, wait a minute. I have a jerks tape <laughs> you guys got to listen to. Well, we won't, we won't say the guy's name, but the Dirty Fat Fuck song. Yeah, the Dirty Fat Fuck song, yeah. Damn. And then the... Uh, you the, got an Adam's the, apple. And then uh, the Somebody's Dead song. Yeah, they, they were bad songs. They were terrible songs. You would listen to it, laugh, and then feel real bad about laughing. Because <laughs> they were funnier than shit, and Major wrote half the lyrics, and it was fucking hilarious, you know? Angel did the backup vocals, like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dirty fat fuck! He was a good improviser, though. He could yeah. look up any uh, song, yeah. though. He was, a good, yeah. he was very good at ad-lib. He was yeah. very good at ad-lib. He could just, like, pick a Nirvana song and just twist it. Yeah. Any freaking song. Like, damn, that's some talent. He, How the he, fuck did he come up with that shit? He's the one that came up with the idea of vegan bitch. You remember? Yeah, dude. <laughs> then he burned her guitar and blamed me for it. Dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, dude he, was he dating her? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, something happened with this one vegan chick, and then he fucking they were yeah they were dating, and then she would go to my house, and then he goes, "Hey, Dick, tell him I'm not here." And like, Dick, you'll fucking live here, Dick. <laughs> 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 That sounds like, like such an angel. You see, you see, like, Dick, you don't fucking live here, Dick. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, yeah. And he fucking runs and jumps the gate behind me, Dick. <laughs> so she shows up and then she goes, hey, I want to know where my guitar. I'm like, what fucking guitar? She goes, my guitar had a speaker in it. And I start fucking thinking, like, Angel was burning a guitar with a speaker in it. Oh, oh I think that's it. Oh. So the fucking bass is... <laughs> You see the speaker hole? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, and not just that, but then he got back with her and he goes, he goes, yeah, I fucking Rick burned your guitar. <laughs> so every time I would see her, she'd fucking like, like, you owe me a fucking guitar, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't yeah. trust vegans, Dick. <laughs> Don't trust vegans, man. He kept a lot of my tapes. <clears throat> I remember he said, like, borrow my tapes. I'd never seen him again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, I heard her in your belts too. Oh, oh, man. Your belts. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know it's great. Where you, you when you'd call you, the way you, the way you'd just say, "Hey, what's up? Uh, hello, who's it? You doing? You doing? That's how you say. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're doing. That's right. He called me at the random hours. Man. Yeah, <laughs> random fucking hour, like two fifty two. Like the fuck, dude? I'm at work. <laughs> And AM too. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember one time he called you. He's like, "I miss your mom, dude." Yeah. <laughs> Crazy shit. He would be like, "Hey, dude, I want to be your mom so bad." I'm like, what "Motherfucker, to really like, dude, I'm right there with her right now, dude. Like, Come on, dude." But like, all but all sincere, he's all sincere about it. He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Keen, I really miss your mom." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. He started like I actually thought like, "Damn, did my mom really hook up with her? What the fuck?" <laughs> That's mom <laughs> but that's what i think that's what made angel like really special you know is that he would it's one of the things like i mean, i think i remember saying this in, in the funeral like getting up there is he would just call to just like say like he misses you yeah, yeah. yeah he did. and at that time it's like to me like another guy calling <coughs> calling yeah. and he even would call to just say like hey man i love you 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like and that. for another guy, like for me, you know, it was just kind of like, wow, this <laughs> guy, he's yeah. like, he's like, you know, it, it didn't you matter. Don't even call it gay, like, is yeah. it like, fag? Like, yeah, no, you no, would no. be like, yeah, I love you too, you know. Yeah. And yeah. He, he would, he would call me. He'd be like, what the "Fuck you doing?" Yeah. I'd be like, "I'm chilling." He goes, "I fucking miss you, dude." Yeah, I go, "I miss you too." He goes, "When we gonna fucking practice?" I go, "When you fucking show up, fucking show up, dude." Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was very sincere though. You're right. Yeah, that he was, was very. He was I mean, just, he was very sincere, but he, you guys never had the pleasure of having him show up at three in the morning to your house, knock on the fucking garage, have a fucking bottle of Jagermeister. Hey, I'm gonna bring some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he was then, pretty sincere about that. <laughs> and then, sure enough, fucking bitches show up. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then, sure enough, I'm like, I want to check IDs. <laughs> <laughs> When they come in, they go, where, can, where, where can I put my backpack? No, you're getting the fuck out of here, bitch. Leave right now. <laughs> Rick, like you maybe, <laughs> maybe they were in college, bro. No, just, they had PG folders there. And gonna... <laughs> Elac was a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking trapper folders. Ain't, 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 no, ain't no college girl going to get with Angel. <laughs> Oh I don't know, God. man. I, there's some. He <laughs> had some girls, dude. You're like, how the fuck did you get that girl? The ones of yeah. age. <laughs> You'd be like, how the fuck did you hook up with that chick? Yes. The, the wet eye from Newport Beach. Yeah. This is before yeah. we knew what cougars were, dick. <laughs> <laughs> she shows up and she's just like, hey, where's Angel? Like, I'm Rick. <laughs> On the side. <laughs> nah, dude. Remember. Was that the one that bought him the bus pass to go see him? Go see her? Yeah, I think he mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, Remember some girl bought him a yes. fucking bus he pass? He told me about it. That's what I'm saying, dude. He will hook up with girls at the buses and they will pay for his shit. Yeah, I know. What the <laughs> fuck? He brought one home one time. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> he brought one, he brought one home one time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he snuck her in on the side of his pants. You know <laughs> <laughs> he brought one home, one girl home one time and uh, she was carrying some black chick. And she's loud. Wow, she's funny and shit, dude. Fucking pass out, fucking blackout drunk. Next fucking morning, fucking same bitch comes back and she knocking. Ta, ta, ta. Hey, where's Angel at? Like, he doesn't live here. He told me he lives here. He owes me some fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time we were on Long Beach Boulevard, man. And um, I remember my, my Honda, the right, the passenger's uh, window didn't work. Like it only went halfway. You know, so like when you rolled in that shit, you stopped, you know? So we're riding, or I'm taking him home, and all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, I'll do some girls next to it, next to it. oh," and try to roll the window down. <laughs> that shit stopped. <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, what's up, girl? What's up? What's your name, girl? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your fucking window, kid?" He's all pissed, man. Girls took off, dude. He was pissed at me because the fucking window only went halfway, dude. That's what I mean. That's karma for car blocking me, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fucking angel, man. Damn. <laughs> What about the time I wasn't there, but I keep hearing the story about um, him having you guys walk from like Redondo Beach or something. Oh yeah, I, you, I, I wasn't there. Red either, Red has to get in on that yeah. one, because because yeah, Red, Red wore the scars for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking the walk of shame through the projects. That was uh, me. Uh, I'll say nicknames: Red, Chucky, and uh, Angel. And we're in the Hulkster, dude. It's, this is only my third time fucking driving. Dude. Oh, yeah. Ex uh, explain what the Hulkster so is. So the Hulkster really was a fucking <laughs> top of the line 1978 Pontiac Sunbird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that he's not on here on the, he's not on the mic, but he, but Canonos used to drive that car for me because I was unlicensed. Uh, and his fucking <laughs> knees were like rubbed to his face <laughs> and they're he'll like pull up the windshield and he'll tell people get in brother <laughs> <laughs> here comes here comes Kanonos coming to the, to the mic comes. up on that one bro <laughs> do this one right here I got that one calibre for Jaime hey, what's up it's like plus 10 dBs. There we go. <laughs> plus 10 <laughs> dBs. Yeah, so Carlos used to drive that car, dude, and like, he barely fit in there, dig. We used to go to fucking Hollywood and all that shit, dig. <laughs> a lot of memories. Had to grow some balls in order to get up here with you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Hopefully you drank them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get in character here, trying to get uh, acquainted with the mic. It's all good, man. <laughs> 
Man. <laughs> I, I had to sit down, you know. I drove many miles to uh, tell a little tale. To sit down more? Uh, I knew Angel from the neighborhood, you know. Uh, I used to see him going back and forth all the time. We used to hang out a little. There was a, an, an age difference between us, but we always had uh, mutual respect. And one thing I got to say about our beloved brother is that he always felt the music, you know, when he was mm-hmm. on stage, um, that, that empowered me, that, that influenced me when I would see you, Chris playing up there in the high school, uh, <laughs> stage, uh, was it sl- sloppy Chicano? Yeah, it was, it, was with, it was with Joel and Red. <laughs> with a pit and everything. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was an honor to know him, you know, um, my story is a little dark, it's all good. but you know. <laughs> I had to get up here and tell it. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't used to hang out much together, but this one night we did it was when we used to uh, uh, hop in the van with Uni. Yeah, yeah. That's another chapter. <laughs> <laughs> we used to hop in this van. It was in an, an Econoline. It was a Ford Econoline van, yeah. Like a 20 yeah. passenger or something. We used shit. to hop late at night and we used to sneak inside cemeteries <laughs> and play the Ouija board on top of tombstones. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like I said, it's a little dark. I thought it was dark like, you know, this is like the and, sad um, times. Sad, yeah. Yeah. No, it's dark. <laughs> Literally, it was dark. Yeah. Like, like, I was expecting it. Like, <laughs> I was expecting like he fingered a corpse or something. Uh, he hasn't got to the Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you know we were trying to play with this thing and it wasn't working with me so um, I let Angel slip in and um, oh yeah, so something's good. going on in the back <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know like I said it's a little dark uh, but I had a, I have to tell it I have to tell it you know uh, so Angel starts playing with it and um, you know the spirit tells him that he's gonna die that he's gonna die soon and he, he starts getting real scared. You remember that? You were there? Yeah. I was like, hold my hand, hold Chris. My hand, Chris. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. I told him. Yeah. And, you know, a couple of years later, you know, he mm-hmm. passes away. And because of that, you know, I, I've never, never doubled with it again. You know? Yeah. So that was a couple of years prior to him getting killed? No, that was, that was like two dollars. No, like 99, wasn't it? It was no uni was ninety six ninety seven. It was still a few years after that. Yeah, it yeah. happened soon. Right within mm-hmm. a five year range. No, it was like more like ten years later. Was it? Yeah. We'll, we'll never what, get the fucking what was dates like, right here. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did the uh, like With the board the say? Like specifically, do you what? remember? No, I remember. It was just because like, I, I was standing. They were playing it. Uh, I think it was you, uh, Angel Carlitos, was it? Was yeah, it was Carly, a bunch of us. I, I, I went with you guys, but I sat in the fucking back because I was afraid of being <clears> in you the were cemetery. There too? Yeah. Okay, but, then, but then the, you know I'm not lying. No, I know you're not lying. But no, the, yeah. the the thing was actually moving on its own? Yeah, it started working with him, and uh, you know it started answering questions. You probably didn't hear this podcast, but Chris admitted on a podcast he used to fuck around with that thing. Yeah, I did, but I was... On your own? I, yeah, I, was, I know when you guys were fucking... <clears throat> Yeah, okay, le, so. le, Jeremy, I got a Ouija board in the fucking garage. Bring it up. It's a glow in the dark. Bring it up. 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 Well, thanks for having me on the podcast. Santos Christos. That's why I stick to those little paper things, you know, that all the girls do. Like that. That's safe. Purple. Purple. Like that. I just Pick used, a number. I just used a fucking magic eight ball, dude. You know, yeah, so I used ball. to fuck with these guys, and I never told them. I, I think I admitted it to Terry once, and Terry's like, "I fucking knew it, Dick." <laughs> but like, there was a time when uh, we were all in Carlitos's room, <clears throat> and he had a stereo, and it was like an old tube stereo, and he was, he was talking about how this house is fucking haunted, or his room's haunted. They're calling you like La Llorona, and I never believed any of that shit. So he it, had a stereo. He it, st- it was haunted. Yeah, well, I like I said, who's he? Was, it's another Our, mutual friend. Another ours. mutual friend. Okay. Uh, same as... Yeah. And then uh, uh, he, <laughs> he had a stereo where it took forever to turn on. Mm. So I went to the fucking side and I pressed a button. And then they're all talking about how it's fucking haunted. And all of a sudden the stereo turns on and everybody's all fucking tripping out. I'm like, <laughs> what the whoa, fuck? Whoa, whoa. And I'm just like, there's like... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask a flashback. <clears throat> Dude, do you, the, were any guys there for the uh, when we did the Ouija board in his upstairs neighbor's house? Oh, Bill. Oh, the guy... The, the, Committed suicide, right? Yeah. Whoa. Fuck you. I heard about it. 
Were you, when, were you, <laughs> I know Chris was there. Yeah, I was there. Tell the story, dude. Yeah, Bob, right? I don't fucking remember the story. Is it Bob okay. or Bill? Bill. Bill. It was Bill's curse. So, is, he, is he the one that used to wait at the bus stop in the morning? Right there, right by the phone company? No, I, no, no, no. I no. never seen the he guy. He drove a red Thunderbird. Okay. I actually never seen the guy, but he killed himself. And, uh, Damn. So he paid the the owner of the house was so cheap he paid us fucking underagers to fucking <laughs> clean up the brain matter wow. and shit from the fucking wall. Hey, yeah. I ever, oh, I remember, remember you guys? I just that. found out another podcast. I only got paid ten bucks when these guys made fucking fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was a, I was a dumb fucking bicep right there. Oh, and fuck yeah. man, you probably did the most hard work. But yeah. it's <laughs> called building character, man. <laughs> but we we cleaned out and we left one of the windows open. It was right above uh, his house. And there was like a roof line. Oh, we always broke into that little place. Well, we, Angel left the fucking window open. And we, we got some girls. Um, <laughs> we went in there. And we put up the EG board. We brought some candles. We closed the fucking window. All the windows were closed. And Angel's fucking scared, I guess, because after the, the cemetery. Yeah. He was like fucking, like, like legitimately fucking scared, dude. And I don't know what the fuck, but we start playing the EG board. We're about to touch it. And all the fucking the, the the candles flicker at the same fucking time. You're joking. And I I I'm like fuck. And then an Angel's already fucking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you see a silhouette and like you cut through the door that? like a very cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the fucking. I'm like oh shit. He's already fucking gone, dick. Yeah, because Angel could run. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you I balled with him, dude. He's athletic. Dude. He should have joined the Olympics, man. Yeah, dude, was a, we, used to, we used to play <laughs> baseball, run, dude. dude. <laughs> when, when I was when, before he was into music, we played baseball, you know, at the Circle Park and different shit, dude. And he used to always wear his uh, some cheap ass like fucking pro wing knockoffs. And then he's always fucking think he's Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> so you would have the turtleneck. I had a, a my, somebody got me a turtleneck, a blue one with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> And he used to wear that shit. He goes, I feel like Griffey, dick. <laughs> and he'll fucking put the hat backwards. And then he'll go up there. He always had fucking, he always had, if you guys remember, he always had the fucking, the knee wrapped. Because he was always injured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And then he always had like the fucking wristbands. Yeah. So those yeah. were all my shit too, dick. <laughs> I thought he was a raver. <laughs> but he would like stand up there and try to be like Griffey Jr. And then fucking, he'll, he'll hit the shit out of that tennis ball, dick. Damn. They'll fucking go over and one time they hit a fucking they hit the 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 you guys remember the the church on Santa Fe and Zoe? Right in the fucking corners, that big ass yeah. parking oh, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to play right there. And he fucking hit it so hard it actually broke a fucking window in those apartments. Oh yeah. And then um and they fucking came out, who the fuck broke that angels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He but, had his own lingo. Yeah, but then they fucking they, they what I just did, I just point like I looked down and pointed at would be me, and fucking uh, and when they were like, I ain't fucking bring the window. They looked at Angel. Angel's already boned out. Dick. <laughs> like he's boned out, and then he gets to on the other side of Santa Fe, stops, runs back, picks up his bat, and then takes off again. <laughs> <laughs> Even faster. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! That guy was fucking fast, dude. He was. When he was a little kid, like not too little, but like like around twelve. Um. There was like a bunch of gangsters that was they lived in front of in front of the Circle Park. I lived across the, floor, the way, and they were always hanging out there. And they 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 liked Angel. They made Angel made them laugh and stuff. But every once in a while, just to fuck with them, he'd fucking ride his bike up there and go fuck Florencia and <laughs> fucking ride away. <laughs> and they would they would fucking catch him and fucking beat his ass right. And then Angel would get up, you know, because he threw on this big old act that he was crying and stuff. And they were like, all right, fucking let him go, you know. And he'd get back on his back and go, fuck Florentia. And then right away. And this happened like like That's two, crazy. three times a week. The same shit, same results. And he would always fuck oh, with them. The same Bloody. guys. Same guys were fucking with them? Yeah, the same guys. I mean, they would just hang out there, you know, they'd drink and fucking just talk and shit. That's so funny. And then he just fucking right up to them and up to their driveway and go, fuck Florentia. And then right away. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? And he had this bike. Didn't he get hit by a car on that bike? <laughs> no, he got ran over by a scooter. You remember a little girl? <laughs> I gotta hear this shit. <laughs> I don't know how. Look, I didn't even see the whole run over. Like this girl was literally riding a razor scooter, and he got a fucking angel <laughs> fell and ate shit, and this girl ran him over. <laughs> oh, I didn't see her going over. I didn't see the whole thing, but I looked back. Angel's on the floor, and she's already off his body. So she ran over with the scooter. That was funny. 
<laughs> Somebody said he got hit by a fucking car and he, just, he was riding a skateboard and just flew, dude. And then got up and like, man, you fucking my skateboard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he didn't even care about his her body. Dude. He was all limping. He's mad because they fucked up his neighborhood skateboard, the Shorty Gonzalez he had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember the story, but I don't remember the story of that. I don't think anybody was over there, dude. Dude, no matter how many times he flaked for practice and all that shit, everybody always forgave him. We would always say, yeah. it's Angel, dude. <laughs> yeah. Just like, it's all good. He didn't show up for practice, or he wouldn't write his lyrics on time. Like, Angel, you got your shit? Hold on, I'm looking for it. <laughs> and it, there'd be nothing. And he would just like freestyle, freestyle for yeah. the rehearsal, and it'd be like, Fine, you know, like you always forgave him, dude. Yeah. He's a charmer. You can never be mad at that fucker, you dude. You can never be yeah. mad, not not he, legit mad. You dude, know, he, he died owing me like five hundred bucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, like you, I'm not you even mad about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> like, even if you're still alive, I still wouldn't get the money back, dude. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't be mad. <laughs> and he literally, nah, dude, never, man. He literally had half my t-shirts. Half the t-shirts that I own, <laughs> and he wore them all at the same time. Yeah, he probably wore them all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, your probably your shirts were probably layer like nine and ten. Dude. <laughs> yeah, he had that misfit shirt, the Dick Kenny shirt, the Pennywise shirt. You all know, all shirts. <laughs> a couple of cardigan sweaters that my mom had, like on the sixties, he took from me. Oh, what wasn't he? He, he would. He his would. Kurt uh, Cobain days. Yes, yeah, Kurt Cobain yeah, days. He would wear it during his Kurt Cobain days. He's like torn the jeans, beige and the cardigan. Nirvana was it beige shirt. or green? Yeah, all those cardigans were mine. Wow. <laughs> and uh, he was like, "No, oh, let me have this one. This is like the lithium sweater. <laughs> 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 that, that fucking cardinal colored, right? The red one. Mm-hmm. All those were mine. All those like they were like. I guess some of these school girl fucking sweaters, they were like girl sweaters, but like you'd wear, you'd still rock them, you know? They look like Gage Junior High colors. Dude. Yeah. They might have been from like Gage Junior High back in the 50s no, and shit, dude. No, he took like five or six of them, dig. They were like, they're like all different assorted colors and styles, dig. They're- hey, Red, you remember when, um, when we were, di- we were trying to find out who the hell was going to sing for this fucking cunk option that we were starting? And we were like, fuck, dude, we don't know anybody. And we're like, well, what about fucking Angel? Because remember, we always used to see him fucking playing the acoustic guitar, singing all the Nirvana songs. He would fucking jack like Chris Puerta's guitar and shit, right? <laughs> and I'm like, well, let's just fucking ask him. And then when we asked him, hey, dude, do you want to sing in our band? What kind of band is it? It's a punk band. He goes, fuck yeah. <laughs> remember that shit, dude? That was fucking crazy, dude. That's how we ended up getting him in the band. And no shit, dude. And what? he was there ever He's, since. He used to tell me, like, during that transition from the... Uh, what the fuck was the Tweety Bird shirts they used to wear? Remember the oh, Tweety yeah. Bird gangster oh, shirts? Yeah. Like the, the Warner Brothers gangster ones? <laughs> he went from that transition to fucking Nirvana, dig. Yeah. Like right away. And he used to go, say, hey, dig, I think my calling's a, I want to sing, dig. Like the fucking sing. And, and he sounded like shit. Yeah, he did. And I would fucking tell him, hey, you sound like shit, dick. And then and he got better. And he got better. Well, the first time better. I heard him behind a mic, it, that's when the transition happened. Like, oh, this motherfucker does have. Yeah. You got some pipes, dude. Something changed. And I'm. Where he was more like he, he was, was different. Free, he, yeah. was, he was like like Danny said earlier. He's always shy. He would turn his back to the band, and and that was one time we watched the Doors, and he saw that Jim Morrison did that shit all the fucking time, and he would always like, yeah, hey, I feel like Jim Morrison. I can't look at the band. I gotta be in the space. You got any weed? <laughs> 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 he would always fucking do that shit, and, and then, do you he guys, would start practicing the the door songs in the fucking in the house. And you yeah. probably learned them all, like in a week. Well, he learned all the songs from the the movie. Yeah, yeah. He le- those are all the songs he fucking learned. And the next thing I know, he's fucking playing music and shit, dude. You know, when after every show, he would like go off and hide, hide, like basically hide away, like get away from everybody. Yeah, like I don't know what it was, but mm-hmm. at, I think at the time we probably misunderstood that, like, oh, he's being a rock star. Or whatever but what, what do you guys think it was like oh, like yeah, guilt he, or like almost like he told me one time and and, and this is going back and in, deep in memories which i i'm not gonna say it's accurate uh-huh. but he used to tell me he used to be like look mom what i'm doing kind of a thing oh that's man. and i always kept that in me and he always kind of said something like like yeah i'm just like look at mom look what i'm fucking doing and then after that, that's when the stuff came out about his dad being from New York and all right. that shit. I don't know if you guys remember any of that. Yeah, tell a little mm. bit of the of yeah, his background yeah. so people kind of get to so, know. Yeah. Like I, I don't want to like, and this is not talking shit once again, but you know he had a, a rough upbringing. Chris would know more about it. Yeah, we, we, we found out after he passed away that you know a lot of this stuff. Right. So yeah. I'll let Chris tell it. Well, he uh, his his mother was um, not well. He, she he had very. 
I mean, he was a strange relationship with his mother, right? You know, and uh, just for the he, listeners, he was raised by his grandma. Yeah, he was raised by his grandma, who uh, took in all the all of his kids' daughters and all that stuff. She was like a a dumping ground for all her daughter's children, and uh, Angel the one that stayed. And her her mother was um around, but she was never around. She had a problem with drug abuse and a lot of stuff that would keep her away keep him away from 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 his child i i met her i'm like i know known him for over 30 years or almost 30 years when he passed and uh, I, I met his mother once and she stayed for a week and then she disappeared you know and this is when we were little kids you know and she bought him some gi joes and we were playing with them and then one day she was just just yelled at Angel for no reason, just like to fake like those his fault. Or I don't know what the fuck she was thinking, but uh, she blamed it on him that she left. Like she made it sound like you know, oh, like damn. the reason why I'm leaving is because of you, kind of shit. And that's how, I guess how he took it. Didn't like, even, but even the, like it was so sketchy the way she did it. Even like as a young child, I know that that was like, <laughs> bullshit. You know. Yeah. But yeah, he had a very very rough childhood. As far well, as like that, seen, but, but seen pictures of his mom after he died too. We were like, dude, she was beautiful, dude. Yeah, she was a looker. Yeah, yeah, it was a. Tra- I never, I never met his mom. I just, I heard stories, and you know, uh, tragically, and it's kind of like they say it. The, the the books continue. You know, the next edition is the same thing. Right. His mom was also murdered, and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. You know, she was murdered at a bar right there in uh, is it Bow Heights or East LA? No, um, it was right there off of Santa uh, Fe and Olympic, wasn't it? No, it was right there. No, it was, it was um, Santa Fe and Mateo. I think it was one. Mateo doesn't run that way, does it? No, it's, it's, it's that's right behind Olympic. Yeah, over there by across uh, from that gas station. There's like that bar because that's yeah, because uh, I used to practice with parallel. Fallen God right there. And and the funny thing, I know his mom was murdered, and we used to drive up Santa Fe, and he'd always like, hey, they go go down on the street. Never knew why. And now after he died, I fucking know. I wow. know, you know. But yeah, it's. Pretty amazing, dude. That he had that kind of upbring- upbringing, and the dude wasn't a rotten kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of kids that grow up in that way, they're rotten. They're yeah. like they're gangsters, th- thugs. They're like out there doing shit. Like I said, he wouldn't hurt hurt a fly, and he grew up that way. He had every right to be angry at the mm-hmm. whole world, but the dude was not like that. He yeah. just it was gave something love, special yeah. for him to be, you know, for us to even like have interaction with him in our life. You know what I mean? Like, because. That what are the odds that you get a kid like that but you, from that situation? You're talking about him like because you love him, right? Because you're his friend, dude. Love him, and 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 you said that you know like anybody that met him, you know, automatically loved him. Mm-hmm. You know, so his parents didn't maybe you know were running around, yeah. But he still had a strong loving support system with his aunts, you know, and his grandma and stuff like that. So he did have love there. I mean, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just all bad. But even you kids know? With, that don't have, let's say, a dad yeah. with anger issues. Yeah, I know. It's like I, I didn't see an ounce of that. You mm-hmm. Maybe I was fortunate to not see that because I... No, he didn't. You know, yeah, did. the way I want to remember him was happy, yeah. laughing, and the way he was. Yeah. But, like, I never seen any of that, I which is amazing. I didn't. I never seen him like that. Uh, never seen him like that. You know, I grew up with him playing G.I. Joe's and shit, dude. And he always had, like, the, the toys. I didn't have any fucking toys. You know, it was him and Spooky. <clears throat> You know, him and Spooky playing G.I. Joe, and then, like, I'll, I'll go there and, like, you can't play with us until you have camouflage stuff. So, fucking, like, I would go to the, the, the surplus in the Swap Me on Pacific and buy me an army shirt. No, but we can see your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, you know. Dude. I finally fucking had all the camouflage shit, but I had the wrong pro wings. And he fucking, uh, I finally bought G.I. Joe's. And they fucking, they get my G.I. Joe and they put a firecracker and blow it up. (laughs) That's how I remember. But he was never like that. He was never fucking angry at the world. None of that shit, dude. He would only get angry at Red. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Tiger Stripes, dude. (laughs) He's in a little bit of a food coma right now, I guess. He's levitating like David Blaine. (laughs) Doesn't he look like the uh, like the other racist in uh, <laughs> American? Uh, no, uh, America has reacts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you mean the gang leader in prison, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> this song goes out to the Clica 1997. There it is. And to the HBR stars. HBR stars.
This song is called Demand. Sounds called Demand. Shut down. Step aside. Chill, I'm gonna put the sword this time, dude. Um, is it on? No, they're pointing at you because they think you're fucking pretty, dude. Oh, alright. Well, look at this Excuse one. Me, no. Excuse me, sir. Why do you think he's such a rock star? Um, it comes from the heart, dude. I mean, music's my my main. Wait, stand over here, man. I don't want the sun in this camera. Go. I think music. It's totally retarded because you know you gotta you gotta see it from a different perspective. Music sucks, you know, and I just like jacking off every day. And when you jack off, jacking off's the best thing in the world. And when you jack off, and, and when you jack off, it's the best feeling in the world. I think I think that all of us right here in the band, I think we're lame, you know. But um, the only thing I love about our band is me. And <laughs> we're here first, people. No, and um, rest in peace, dear, in 1998. And um, rest in peace, Ma, and, and <laughs> Joe, you look like a rat. Right at the end of the show right here. Or, hey, you just trying to get on the speaker and fireballs like, get the fuck off, dick. <laughs> <laughs> there goes fucking buff-ass rat, dick. <laughs> dude, but look, you can see how charismatic he is right here, dude. Oh, my God, look at my stupid-ass fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were always buff. Always been on black. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many shirts do you think he had on right there, Dick? Eight. Look, look, you can see at least two layers on his collar, look. Fucking <laughs> Richard, Dick. That poser David. <laughs> pop out a second. <laughs> that poser David, look. 
<laughs> guys are dressed the same. He does look like a little action figure, doesn't he? And he goes, Red Dick. Remember the poser check days? That was a corn crowd, dig. 97. Uh, for those of you listening, we're watching uh, some old videos of us playing with Angel and the Band at the HP High School Rock Fest 1990. Nine. Promoted by. 99. Yep. Who, 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 who that looks like We all look like rotten nosed little kids. That area looks familiar. <laughs> isn't, there, wasn't there a movie film in that spot? Yeah, Greece. 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 You uh, maximize it? It was Jeff. Jeff and his fucking hair. Richard, Chris, <laughs> and everybody else doing the work. Chris, Chris doing it. Chris um, wearing his pimp coat. That was at some pool party you guys played at, dude. Over drumming by Joe. <laughs> oh, that's when he hit his head. Didn't he? Like he jumped and he like. No, that's, oh, that's, on the thing, yeah. No, yeah. No, no. That was, that was another that, gig. That, that, it was that was the same night, but it was the show afterwards because uh. we had two gigs in one night. Remember? <laughs> and that was at uh, Guillermo's house. Hey, Red. Oh, really? Remember that was at uh, Guillermo's house. Remember that? Yeah. We finally got him on the podcast. <laughs> 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 it's like, lucky no, the podcast with special guest, Red. For Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in this week. <laughs> so, um, this video that we just saw was a, some little stupid gig that a friend, uh, from a, a friend of ours from high school asked us to play at. Um, played a couple of covers and then that was actually just us practicing a song that we had just made up and um afterwards we had an actual halloween party where we were playing like a couple of 80s jams and angel was singing (laughs) and he fucking jumps up and you know angel was tall he fucking jumps up and the garage door that we're you know we're playing inside a garage so the garage door was up and he hit his fucking head on like one of the railings there and just fucking split it open like he was fucking bleeding everywhere (laughs) he was bleeding everywhere so so he's like fuck man look my fucking head (laughs) head. (laughs) we we took him to my pad and we fucking you know my mom you know was a nurse so we had like I got all her fucking gauze and her shit and didn't he have put a fucking, fucking tampon head. on his head? Dude? <laughs> yeah, we, put it, <laughs> we put some gauze on his head, dude. Like ridiculous. That was no gauze. That was a tampon, dude. <laughs> <dick. laughs> I took like that shit off. Is, <laughs> was it? Because <laughs> I, oh, peeled, I peeled the strip <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> It was a maxi pad. Was it? It was a maxi pad. Yeah, I, oh. I, 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 peeled the, I peeled the tape off. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They're the cortex. Uh, so yeah, I gotta ask, so you guys funny. knew Angel better than I did. What music did he gravitate towards the most? Like with us, you know, because we're doing the hip hop thing and he was a it chameleon the, like that. He had that. phases. It depends he on the phases. era. Yeah, right. yeah, he yeah. went through a nothing but Nirvana fucking phase and then he went into uh, fucking everything else and then the corn phase. And then he went in, into the hip hop phase after that. No, I think I it was, he then was the hardcore, hardcore phase. phase. Yeah. He was really into Bloodlead. Yeah. Oh, yeah that yeah. band. Yep. Hardcore band. It, it inf- yep. Bloodlead and Dystopia influenced Angels the rest of his years. You right. know, like <clears throat> his musical years. was. They were very important bands in his life. They, um, they even influenced the way he sang, you know, and, and the way he wrote music and the way he structured his melodies vocally. So those two pans are very important to him when it came to the rock side of Angel. But he was like really bilingual. Like like he like you said, he was in a hip hop band with you. Right. And uh he did the little raps and he did I mean we me and Joe, we didn't try. I mean this guy you could tell he was working on it. Right. And he was working out something special lyrically. I mean like we'd laugh at his old lyrics and then he would start writing poetry <clears throat> and um I, I I hear it and I'm like, fuck, dude, it's bad. And, uh, and uh, this is a song and he'd read me all this shit and it was just getting better and better and yeah. better. It was very yeah, clever. Yeah. He was very versatile, big time. You know, he didn't limit himself whatsoever on anything. Yeah. Well, he always had that Walkman, right? So he's always listening to music. <clears throat> and that all showed when we started like practicing or you listening to him rhyme. It's like, dude, this dude's advanced because 
he's always listening to music. I think like that whole time he's dissecting, he you know what it, he's yeah. studying it, and mm-hmm. he's like, in a sense, not really copying it, like putting his own spin on it. Right. But it would show, dude. Like in that underdog clip that we shared, mm-hmm. showed his flow was like different from all of ours. Yeah. And I think just because he was a student of the rap game of hardcore, whatever it was. Well, one thing he did a lot was he would play back the song, and then not just a song. Eventually, it was just clips, and then he would practice that. You know, it was a fucking loop. It, you'll fucking practice a loop. He'd over farm. And over really? He'd farm it out. Yeah, He'd farm out the, the whole structures of the song and just dissect it and find out where he could come in. You know, I don't know how anybody else worked with him. And technically, besides the jerks, you know, like we, you know, I've never seen him work with it. Or you know, like like how you guys work with him. Mm. But I always thought that his uh, his vocal placement was very well thought out, and everything he did, yeah. and his rhymes are like very well. His like his his, his um cadence, his cadence, yeah, was yeah. very well thought out. Yeah, it was a natural dude. It was a natural. I would every, every time he would ask me like, "Yo, man, let me borrow some hip hop shit," and I'll just bring him some random shit, dude. And one thing I remember, he would memorize this shit fast. Yeah, you know, he'll That's come. I let I let him borrow like some shit, and he'll come back the next day and he straight rap the whole shit like God. Damn, dude. <laughs> I don't even know this shit. Dude. How the hell did he know? Dude? He, that's, he was just natural. Dude. Like he was seeing word for word to yes. 18 visions. You know, like, like, you know, because you know, most of that shit, I couldn't understand. It was like, rah, rah, and he was fucking singing word for word. I like, the, that's crazy. the only time I that Angel wasn't in his element was when he sang for, uh, it was an individual at the, at the whiskey. It was chapter 23 at the yeah. time. But he, uh, he sang backup vocals for one of their songs. I think it was called Down. And we went the day before. We went to the practice at the one of the um, band members. Yeah, it was chapter uh, band members' house. House. Oh, I don't want to say names. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Beep. Jerry. Edit. <laughs> we went to Deed House. But uh, <laughs> oh, you mean Deed? Yeah. yeah. We were shout out to Deed. <laughs> I'm all quiet, and then I say the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Kalika is edited for television. So, so, you, were, <laughs> we, we so you were you were about to tell us about Deed's house. <laughs> <laughs> so we drove to Beep's house, and uh, we went in Bethel's car in the Chevelle. And we get there, and you know they're like, "Hey, this is a song. Fucking, they're going to flow." But first, we started drinking, and and there's a certain drummer in that band that that, that somebody I think Angel dared to drink the weenie juice. Oh, for no oh fucking thing. fuck the hot dog! Water. And he fuck yeah, he fucking drank it all, dude. And that the drummer was like practicing, but the whole time he had he was green, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Angel's like, hey, he's in the blow, dude. He's in the blow, right? <laughs> and and you, you guys remember he had a really nice drum set. Yeah, yeah. So Angel felt bad, so Angel picked up a, a trash bag and put it right next to the drummer, and then the drummer just goes, just fucking nodded his head like, thanks. <laughs> so then, anyways, fucking uh. Angel was practicing a song and he kept on saying it, you know, his only line was down. Down. Down, right? In different ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, the, the following day is when they played at the whiskey and the whole <laughs> fucking day, the only thing Angel would mention is like, Hey Dick, fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna sing the same stage that Dave Morrison fucking Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison Dennis. Dave. Hey <laughs> Jim Morrison. Hey, shout out to Dave hey, Morrison. Man. Not, I know you're out there. I'm not trying to say any hard. names, Dick. I'm, I'm not trying to say any names. <laughs> to, not mention any names, but Jim Morrison in the doors. Jim Morrison's distant but cousin, Dave. He was so nervous about being on the same fucking stage and he just goes, Hey Dick, I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna fuck this up. And I'm gonna go, just do it, just fucking you do it like you practice. That shit was fucking dope, dude. And he's all right, damn. He goes, all right, Dick, I got it, man. He goes up there and then, you know, he's he's like Chris in that video where he's fucking slamming his fat foot down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking, so Angel starts getting the rhythm. He starts saying the fucking backup vocals, down, down. And everybody's like, oh, shit, this sounds fucking bad. But then he starts overdoing it. <laughs> so he keeps on fucking saying it down, down to where the fucking point where everybody's like backs away from the stage. And just sitting there like, all right, when the fuck is this fiasco going to be over, yeah. Dick? And he never got called back from the band again, dude. That's the only time I didn't see him in that element. Because he didn't have that practice and he didn't know the song, dude. Well, and also, he, I told him, you know, hey, do you, want, you should practice for that. Because I was really excited for him. Mm-hmm. That was the first big stage. Yeah, yeah, that was the first big stage that we've seen anybody in. And he didn't want to practice. He was just like, you'd rather do this. You'd surprise, talk, talk surprise. And, yeah, it was, and, it was horrible. It wasn't, dude. I guess he was just not nervous. He was I was probably nervous and unprepared, so right. he just like flew that. Yeah, he was very nervous about uh, Dave Morrison playing their dick. <laughs> you, mean, you mean Randy Morrison? 
Eric from, Morrison. You, Dave you, pulls you're your talking, check. And then you're talking about Tommy Morrison, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Spector. No, no, it's Robert Morrison. Is what he's talking about. <laughs> it's fucking Julio Morrison, Dick. <laughs> Maurice, we're, all, we're all talking Maurice about him Morrison. outside, but <laughs> hey, we're all talking about him outside. But when we come here, we all crickets, Dick. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, look at this. <clears throat> no, one thing I remember is um, when you're talking about that, he was very um, he will lead, right? He'll be on his own, right? One of the memories I remember, uh, he was uh, he was about to perform at some backyard, some backyard spot, and. I remember he was going outside to the front yard and he was on the corner way on the side. Yeah. He was playing his guitar on his own. Mm-hmm. And I would go, hey man, Angel, what's up? And he was day, he was like in his own, dude. He was like Acid flashback. <laughs> yeah, we like, I was like, damn, Angel, Angel, you cool? Hey, Angel. He would not listen to me, man. He was just in his own. just playing. Air, mm-hmm. Like, he had the guitar and that he was going at it. So I'm, I don't know if he like was channeling it. You know, he was just like in his own world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow. That's, that's a musician, you know, when you just say, fuck everybody, leave me alone, I'm gonna well, do my shit. Well, if you guys remember, for like almost six months, he was he was hell-bent on learning the fucking, that, the, the song from Cheech and Chong, that, I just want to tell me how to live, that and that, that. He was hell-bent on learning that fucking song, dig, yeah, yeah. and he was fucking, he was like, finally learning it, and, and I remember, hey, dig, and he goes, the fuck, I'm, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He learned that song, but he never learned the never bothered to learn the lyrics. No, he just knew. He'd be like, like dubba, 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 "Tell me how to live." <laughs> <laughs> but you remember when Corn actually came out with that song on yeah, their, on their album, the Fall of the Leader. Then he's album. like, "Fuck, I fucking I could have been making millions, dick. <laughs> <laughs> they stole my fucking idea, man. Fucking field is listening, dick." <laughs> I don't think he had audition for anything, dude. It's like by rep. He was always no, he it. did yeah. once. There, I was telling these guys about a story. It's uh, one of the things I always wanted him because he was so naturally talented. I don't know how he might have how he got the connection, or it might have been like I found the connection. But there was this hardcore band from Orange County, or like like the, uh, the Bay, uh, like South Bay, and his um, he needed a ride, and I'm like, you should go do, you should go audition yeah. for this band. Like they're dope. They're you know at the time it was like when we we like had opened up like eighteen divisions mm-hmm. and and you know he was like I don't know you know I'm like you should do it and um, so we went to Redondo Beach to this rehearsal spot. He was like super nervous and um, like classic angel, very quiet, off. Like we right, get there, right. he's not even in the in the rehearsal room, you know, and he. Uh, uh, finally they're set up they're ready to go I go call them and you know it's like like for listeners like where we grew up it was mostly you know what 95% you know mm-hmm. uh, Hispanic or 99.9% yeah, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know <laughs> yes sir I'll go with so, 99.9 <laughs> yeah so it's like, of it. me yeah. being the point zero zero one. one <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it's like, it <laughs> So but it was you taking the bus made you paisa dick. <laughs> so for me it was exciting to see him get out of that bubble, you know, yeah. and um and you know, these were some white kids are like our age from Redondo Beach and I'm like, All right, like I'm rooting for Angel, you know, like to mm-hmm. rip it and he comes in, gets on a mic, super quiet, it's kind of awkward for them. They're, they don't know what to make of Angel because again his his look is misleading. He looks like a gangster from <laughs> Southeast LA or East LA. <laughs> He's all tatted up tatted up. Um, he gets on the mic so and he fucking kills it. He starts free, freestyling with this like this band was heavy and like the drummer was dope, the guitarist was dope, and you just see the like the guys, their eyes like wide up, or, like go wide open, and they're just looking like they can't, they couldn't believe it because they were so mm-hmm. taken back because they kind of judged a book by its right. cover. You know, they see a ball dude, whatever. Like, what's this guy know about hardcore? Yeah, and back he, then he used to look like. What do you imagine what Chaka looked like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. And um, and again, he ripped it. And Classic Angel, after he the rehearsal was over, he like walked out, and it was it was like he put on a whole show for them. And he kind of didn't pers- like follow up. He like he kind of just didn't, you know. He told me he didn't feel him. He didn't feel him or something. He goes, he likes playing with his friends. Yeah, that's probably what he it was. Like playing yeah. with strangers. I think it, it goes back to that, you know, that feeling of like maybe a little bit of, of I don't know what it was like guilt mm-hmm. and and I don't want to say insecurity, but just you know there was something there that yeah. didn't. You know, la- go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. Um, it says that we grew up 
learning together. Right. And that's what it is. Yeah. Is he felt he felt comfortable with us that he could make a mistake or right. he could be himself. How many times did he kick you out of the band, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> You're the fucking band, Chris. <laughs> okay. You're dragging the dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're back in the bed, dick. So anyway, you're, you're my right home. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I think it was. I think it was because he never did play with outsiders, right? Yeah, you know. but just imagine if you had that confidence, you know? Yeah, he so, would have been somebody. Yeah, I mean, he was somebody. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, no, 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 I didn't mean like that. But like, he never went to those things alone either, dude. Right? He never went to any of those fucking thing. Any of those gatherings? Nothing. He never went alone. He always went with one of his friends or right. somebody, yeah. you know. Just, like, like the girls from Inglewood, go with me, dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, why? Why do you get the hot one? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ralph, remember her? <laughs> oh. You. Hey, Chris, I gotta tell this story, dude. I remember, when we, of course, we worked together again. Yeah. I remember he um he put that sticker on your freaking bumper. What he was the one? Yes. What was the sticker? <laughs> what did the sticker say again? Sorry, you forgive him. I love men. <laughs> <laughs> I drew on that fucking thing two days. <laughs> he put that shit on his stick. On and he drove with me the dick. I was, yeah. I was about to <laughs> work. I, say, I love men. And then he, hey King, come here, come here. Let's, let's do this. Let's do. fucking roll on. You know those um. Those fucking, you know those uh, those tapes, those brown tapes, those big fucking machine that fucking rolls those fucking box wrappers. Yeah. But can you, yeah, check that. You got a marker on you? Yeah, yeah. I love men. <laughs> 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 Two fucking days with that on my bumper. <laughs> and you were pissed when you found out. Fuck <laughs> yeah, I was pissed. Hey, did you? You you, you didn't know it was on there? No. Nah. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know who did it until now. <laughs> Wow. Because Angel was like, fuck that motherfucker who did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I always thought it was somebody else. Not until this fucking moment. The fucking Bago just said who did it. Surprise. World, uh, world's world. longest prank. <laughs> and we went in, he went into the job talking shit. Like, whoever put that bumper sticker on fuck Chris's car. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> fuck you. Like, he made all me no scene of it. Like a spectacle. Oh, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I would be like, thanks, man. You're a good fucking friend. Like, Fuck those guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also a good actor. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. fucking know. That's fucking wow. Fucking yep. Sorry. It was in. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, fuck <laughs> you, dude. A moment in time. <laughs> Do you remember those long ass walks to like Middle Earth and all that shit in Downey, dude? Fuck yeah. Oh. Southgate, dude. Uh, we saved, I, I forgot, I remember we, we went to Middle Earth with Bobby one time and he saw this Nirvana import, like thirty one ninety five, And fucking, I remember we, me and him together fucking saved money to go buy it, but we had, we just had enough for that fucking thirty one ninety five in change. And we fucking, we walked all the way down fucking Florence. We get to fucking, we get to Middle Earth and they have it. So we go fucking like, he's all like fucking happy. It's a German import, this and that. And he goes, dude, this is going to fucking change my life. Put it down. That's thirty three ninety two, whatever with the taxes. Yeah, and he's, he's like, oh, yeah, three thirty one ninety five. <laughs> and I guess we'll come back when you have the rest. Oh. And he was like, but come on, like, we walked all this fucking way over here. And I guess I right, just give it to me. Fuck it. Can I get a free sticker? <laughs> 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 but but he, he put on the fake tears, the crocodile tears, <laughs> and the, and when we walked out, they put the full dude. <laughs> 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 but but that was even uh, we were so fucking dumb is that we walked down to fucking Flo or from Florence to Firestone to walk back home. The See, long you know, way, the very long way. Dick. Wow, it winds even longer. We went, we got to Atlantic. We're like, all right, finally Atlantic. Dick. Uh, <laughs> then, when I got older, when I started learning about maps, I'm like. Fucking angel. <laughs> <laughs> he did it again. And that's why we were all skinny back then. Dude. We were fucking hot footing everywhere, man. I used to walk everywhere. Yeah, yeah dude. Fuck. Walk and, so and we were happy. Fuck, yeah, yeah I know. You know. It was like a crusade or something. <laughs> hey, adventure, right? <laughs> you remember when we were on bikes and uh, we were going to, uh, I think it was like fucking arrow music or something. And the fucking they trolls sprayed, came and sprayed you with water. Fucking water guns. <laughs> I thought they the were gonna blast his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is this fucking pipe, like, like please. 
<laughs> like I'm fucking Ricky from fucking Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood and shit. And I'm like, Carlos! And then the fucking water. <laughs> If you grew up in HP, dude, you gotta have a cholo story. Oh, yeah. Everybody oh, has a fuck, cholo story, dude. dude. We, we got man. jumped once. For, we were walking uh, down Santa Fe. Oh, yeah, that's right, my first base. We had just crossed Florence. We we're almost home, and we had this little fucking cholito coming up to us. He goes, "Hey, what you got in the suitcase?" <laughs> and we go a machine gun, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then he still goes, "Let me see it." <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we get whacked, dude. I get oh, whacked shit. with a two by four, you know, fucking pussy style. <laughs> and I drop all my tapes. I fall like I... a little baby, like down to the floor. <laughs> all of a sudden, I feel sleepy. Chiyala <laughs> Socorro. Fuck, dude. It was right there by that red building, the one that causes cancer. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the telephone they building. Have, they, didn't have which, 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 they didn't have a Prop uh, 65 pack, sticker in it. The Pac Bell building. Yeah, it was an old Pacific Bell building. Yeah, <laughs> across the street from that pet shop. Yeah, John's, yeah. John's yeah. pet shop. Superior market, the one you crash into. <laughs> yeah, that one too. <laughs> He carved the amino, <laughs> amino cave hole the with his fucking, car. No, dude, I fucking hit a fucking. Uh, I was half asleep. I took everybody home. And was I was in the Mexican taxi. I was no. in the Mexican. No, 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 no. The red torpedo. The red lobster. The red lobster. The red torpedo. And I fucking, I see the light fucking just flash before my eyes and I thought it turned green so I gunned it. <laughs> so I gunned into no, a fucking dude. red no, light. No, 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 no. You motherfucker said <laughs> all four lights were red, dig. That was I was fucking trying to get out of Eric's shit, dig. I was lying. No, that's right. It was Eric's car, dig. <laughs> it was Eric's car. So like, so I gunned it and they fucking, um, what? I get hit by a fucking brand new Lincoln and the Lincoln fucking spins out and goes to the fucking, to the, to the market. <laughs> So he, he's the one that crashed into the market. Eric's car didn't go into the market. Where was Eric? He was home. He made me take everybody home and shit, dude. I was like, <laughs> his car. In his car, dude. <laughs> we were just lucky to survive all that shit. Fuck yeah. Fucking you know. everywhere at night. Yeah, I remember we went to a show. Remember? We were going to a show one time and we were like about six, seven of us walking down Santa Fe and we're all like yelling out, nobody walks in LA. Yeah. I'm fucking loud as fuck. We always did that shit, dude. What about and that gig at, uh, at, I think it was like in Slauson. It was like in back of these apartments. It was me and Terry. We were like probably like 14 or 13 or something. We were in junior high still. But then there was like a bunch of skinheads. And oh, Elliot's pad, yeah. Randolph. Yeah. It was Randolph. Like Randolph. Yeah, you were. You guys were there. Right? I was remember there. Chris was there. Yeah, <laughs> that was Chris. for was me. There. That Everyone was scary. Ass. Ass yeah, was Angel? Fuck there? Yeah, I don't know. What, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Angel was my ass. We're, Elliot, we're, Elliot, Elliot. Because Rick and Angel were the first ones out, I think. Right? Yeah, we were like, "Hey, your skin is it's out, dude." Yeah, because <laughs> <'Cause laughs> like, it was crazy. Because like, okay, we saw one skinhead, and we're, we're like, whatever. And then those two, and then those three, yeah. and those they four, right? and they had like, and this, they had like two cases. And yes. that? Were Whoa, they were they, were they traditional they? or or like they weren't boneheads? They were they were uh, skins. Oh, okay. Yeah. They they were there. Like, like, how about we don't say? Yeah. How about we don't say their names? <laughs> what was in the suitcase? There were skins. <laughs> was in the suitcase? I, we don't know what was in the suitcase, suitcase but it was intimidating. As, as yeah, like, for, you know, fuck yeah. yeah. You, you didn't want to find out, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's like. It, well, there was guitars flying. It was crazy. It they was, fucking closed the fucking garage door and beat somebody down. Fucking yeah, Elliot was fucking flying, dick. Damn. Yeah. They, Is that I, that story you told in that one podcast? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I, guys. I, tune into podcast number what? Yeah. It's like one of the first Te ones. Terry yeah. and I, like, <laughs> we went to behind the trash cans and we just hid. Like, yeah. you know, we were, like, Fuck. just probably 90 pounds at the time, you know? <laughs> they were there for business, dude. Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Fun? Yeah. Business? Yeah. <laughs> business. <laughs> Skinheads. I don't know. Stay here going to the backyard gigs and all good vibes, DJ. And then a pack of cholo show up like, fuck, this shit's over. This is you over. know, this shit's going to go down. No shit, sure enough, dude, within an hour, people mm. start fighting, dude. Like, these fucking dudes fuck up everything, man. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you remember the, the my apartment gig? 
If we ever find a video that you can see Angel just bouncing back and forth out the fucking walls and shit, dick. He would fucking just dive into the crowd, just like yeah, like a whole body, just, just throw himself at the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was crazy. I remember that. That was my, actually my first gig ever. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I remember super clearly because I had never seen anything like that. Mm-hmm. Again, I was you know following Heimer around. And I was like twelve <laughs> and like seeing, you know that you had the, it was a uh, the backyard was almost like a yard. It was like ha- how many? How big would you describe? That the was backyard? a parking lot, wasn't it? It was like it was a park, like yeah, parking. It was like four space car garage. Yeah, and that, that whole width of it. that whole thing was a mosh pit at yeah. one point. Damn. And for yep. me, I was like, whoa, what the hell is this? And I was, it was exciting to me, like. Yeah, we, we stopped the video one time. We started counting heads, and we started putting marks on my TV. Yeah. We counted, like, over 250 fucking heads in that fucking pit, dude. That's crazy. I actually remember, dude, I had a good story with you. Remember we went to go see Black Eyed Peas? Oh, those are <laughs> Dude, that shit was fun. So, we went to go see Black Eyed Peas. Did all you guys have blonde hair for Eminem? No. no they all, I was thinking about it, though. <laughs> so, Eminem, dude, this Eminem opened up for Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. So, this is, like, album one, you know? Um so anyways, Black Eyed Peas do their thing. That's when they were hot. No Fergie. And um, this guy's like, pick me up. Throw me in the oh, yeah. <laughs> And everybody started like doing their thing, whatever, whatever. And then he comes down. He's like, I can't find my wallet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that shit's gone, dude. We ain't going to find it like, here. I was like walking on people and thinking it was like a hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people were down with it. Yeah. Dude. They, but that's what the Black Eyed Peas would do, man. Yeah. They like started bridging the gap. Like, this yeah, is all Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. But it was good times. We would actually cover the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Yeah. And our underdog shows. Like It's like, I didn't sell out. I bought in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did their thing, dude. I wish I would have sold out. This is a broke ass rapper. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Okay, let's go back to Angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good break. <laughs> Let's get red on you. At least say one sentence. I know. He's over there fucking eating a banana and shit. He's okay. like dying of laughter. <laughs> hey, hey, first of all, where the fuck are you getting all this food? And second of all, can I have some? <laughs> like he can't even speak red. All the time. <laughs> He's r- redder than red. <laughs> What's so funny over there? He's getting red. <laughs> <laughs> all right, more angel stories, dig. <clears throat> There's tons. Then that's why nobody's talking. Like, don't, don't, don't all just fucking trip over the mic. I mean, you can one, one at a time, guys. Now, most of the stories I, I, I have left are really bad ones. I don't ever want to say again. <clears throat> I can't say. I'll tell you. Um, the last time that I uh, I saw Angel before he was murdered was um, that week, that Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, we drove him home, Dick. Remember? Yeah. And you remember he stayed at my house? Yep. He stayed over. After we were done with that practice that we had? Yeah. Um, we were all at my house, remember? And you guys took off? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Angel goes, hey, dude, can I stay? Can you, t- can you take me to work in the morning? I'm like, yeah, dude. I was going through my own shit during that time. He stayed with me. We fucking stayed up all night just talking fucking music, mm-hmm. dude. Talking fucking music drinking and then he uh he went to sleep on my couch you know and then i fucking woke his ass up and took him to work and then next thing you know i no, get i we, get we hung out with him yeah one more time after that did we yeah because we took him home that's the last time we saw him we took him home to the compton thing where we're like oh that's right remember that's and I, right and after we're just something just because he's always running from the fight so we're like <clears throat> hey um we dropped them off and I was right there off fucking Long Beach and Golden. Yeah. And we're like, dude, this fucking mm. place is bad, dude. Right. It's not good. You had that bad feeling about that fucking place. And I don't know what the fuck made me think about it. I go, hey, Dick, if you get shot at, or don't run, fucking hide. hide. Get behind the yeah. wall. And that's why he fucking died, Dick. He fucking died running away right <clears throat> at that fucking spot. Dude. You know what's funny? Because it sounds like we all sort of felt it. Yeah. Because at the time, like the last, around that time, he was mm-hmm. called, he would call me like at 3 a.m. Hey, pick me up. Yeah. Can you pick me up? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And, of course, you know, mm-hmm. I'll pick them up. Sometimes I'll be like, again, like seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, but you'd always go. I would always go. And um, I remember telling someone like, man, I just hope you know one day I don't get that call, you know. Yeah. And because we, w- I would drop them off of l- at Long Beach, and you know, in that mm-hmm. place he was staying. And I think two days before he passed, he like, mm-hmm. 
he left me a message, you know, just yeah. calling. Just re- he wasn't asking to, to like pick him up. He was just like, hey, you know, again, be an angel. Like, hey, yeah. I just miss you, and you know, whatever, you know, and you know, and then two days mm-hmm. later, he yeah. like passed away. Chris, Chris called me and remember, yeah, and he said, hey, dude, I don't know what the fuck, but this is what I heard. Can you find out? Remember that? Yeah. And then DUI I or he got it. arrested or some shit. And I called you right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, dude. And it was like, really? Yeah. You know, like w- when when they told me, I was like, are you fucking really? Wow. And then I fucking <coughs> called you and told you. And yeah, it was hard for, to register. Yeah. Because, you know, you weren't expecting that. Like. I was hoping he was in jail. <laughs> I was hoping he was in jail too. I was like, hoping he was in fucking jail. Like I was telling, I was telling Rug outside. Mm-hmm. I was telling him like his niece called called me on his phone, you know, and, and she wouldn't fucking tell me what the fuck was going on. So I'm like, where he, where is he at? So we could go get him out. That's what I said. I said, where is he at? So we could go get him out. And uh, she's like, well, he's 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 dead. And I'm like, fuck, you know, like. I don't know what the fuck to say about it, you know. You know, you're calling me on his phone. I don't know what the fuck any of angels fucking around. That's when I called you, and you were like the first person I called, and then then I called and I called my girl, and it was just it was fucking yeah, it was just the hardest call I had to make. I was calling you on it and shit. It was fucking, I is it a hard pill to swallow? Yeah, you know, hard fucking pill to swallow. <clears throat> and then the whole aftermath that came with having to deal with. The people that he was staying with, <laughs> yeah. Um, What'd you call them? Dude? For for the for, our, for our listeners, <laughs> the prawns. Uh, let Let's just say Angel was staying in District Nine with a bunch of prawns. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> dude, we we, we, we as friends had to fucking take care of every fucking thing, dude. Yeah. Funeral arrangements. Get his body from the morgue. Fucking get, you know. Get him fucking prepared. And then, I mean, I don't want to fucking go into detail. It's fucked up. I, I feel for the family, but at the same time, it's like, why are we fucking handling this Cause shit? Because we were his family, that's why. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you know what? We did it without any fucking reservation, hesitation, or anything. It's no just like, bitching, no nothing. We just fucking handle it. It had to be done. Can rely on, you know, those people. You remember we went to talk to the family or the one person, and they're like, we're not sure, we're not sure, we're not sure. Like, you know what? Then fuck you. We're going to fucking do it, dude. Yeah. We're just gonna fucking do it, and a mini fucking man to fuck up. We'll fucking we'll we'll respect your wishes, but after that, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. It was hard too <clears throat> delivering his ashes to his grandma. Yeah, that was tough, dude. Yeah, it was. Fucking blue. You guys want to hear Angel Hooker story, Dick? Let's get it. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. That was a hard left right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was I got whiplash. Hey, look, some toys are us. I got I got whiplash on that one. <laughs> that, was, that was a hard left into an open trench. Go ahead and that one out. <laughs> <laughs> you got quiet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, but this is that whole fucking. I remember the. I didn't, I didn't see him for a long time, dude. And then one day I get a fucking phone call. And I don't recognize the number. And I haven't talked to him for like over a year. And I was living at that, that blue house, the Smurf house. And he fucking. I just. I, I, get, I get off of work. I, I see the message. I answer it. Or I check the message. And it's Angel. Like. Like, hey, dude, it's Angel, your friend to the end, you know? Fucking, I'm like, fucking, I got all excited, called him, he was at work. Fucking, I couldn't sleep, fucking called him, like, fucking, like, hey, hey pick me up at work or whatever. And he's in East LA. Mm-hmm. Fucking tired as fuck, no sleep, called out sick from work, fucking wanted to go pick him up. We hung out, fucking drank underneath my uh, avocado tree in the backyard. And I had these, like, hardcore Christian fucking neighbors, dude. Hardcore. They're little I fucking remember. kids, pop their fucking heads over to go, Stop, t- stop saying so many bad words. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, you guys remember Angel's little, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he did that shit because I'm fucking laughing, dude. But I remember like, I, I, I couldn't bring myself to erase that, that message forever, dude. Yeah. And I think the week, the the day we dropped him off, I erased that fucking message, man. I wish I would have kept it, dude. Because yeah. I was, yeah. like you guys say, he'll call you, like, love you, dick, all that shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, fuck, man. It's funny how you you mentioned, uh, like, everybody knew. Yeah. And I'm just, like, sitting here thinking about it, like, 
um, he was supposed to move in with me because he really literally didn't have technically he didn't have a place to stay. Mm. Yep. He was couch surfing with his aunt, but his aunt kept stealing from him. And I don't know why it was so important. And you just be like, dude, you're my brother. Fuck, of course you could stay. You know, like what the fuck? I love you. And you know, I would just leave it at that. But I was frantically calling him like every fucking day. Hey, when are you gonna move in? When are you gonna move in? When are you gonna move in? And for a week, I, you know, like, cause he was supposed to join Mainland, like I was telling him, he was supposed to be the singer, and he didn't want to fucking do it. He didn't want to do it for shit. And I remember him, and my girls, fuck social distortion. Like my girls' last, <laughs> my girls' last memory of him was him holding my Chihuahua, and he's like, I don't want to join that band, Dick. I don't want to join that band. He was like fucking freaking out about it, right? <laughs> Joe's gonna make me do it. I know him, Dick. I don't want to do it. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what, Dick? Just do it. Come on, we'll have fun. He's like, no, fuck that shit. I don't want to do it. And that was his fucking, you know, and he probably thought that I was calling him for that. At least that's what I'm thinking. Right. Dude, this is not about the fucking band. Right. I just want to know when you want to fucking move in. You know, let's get you out of there. You know, and, but, you know, like him being a flake, like all these years, that's what I, that's what I chalked it up as. Fight. But I was like, it was important for me to fucking something told me to like, hey, reach out, yeah. reach out. Yeah. Why, you, why do you think he didn't want to move in with you? He like, did, uh, but it's just I think just procrastinating. And mm. the time that I couldn't get a hold of him, I didn't know he was murdered because mm. it was like three days or four days out. <laughs> What the, the fuck is the fucking the Batman? Fucking, uh, dude. The <laughs> vampire, <laughs> the man bat. It's your dog. Man bat. Come here. Hey, um, when you called me, uh-huh. just the way your voice sounded, I still remember it till this day. When you, because I was in the office by myself, yeah. right? And then you fucking call me, and then when you, just the way you came across, the way you sounded, like I knew. Dude, this fucker's dead. Yeah. You know, because he said, hey, dude, I don't know what the fuck, but I'm hearing that supposedly fucking Angel was killed. I'm like, what? And just the way you said it, dude, like, I I was like, dude, he's fucking dead. Watch him be fucking dead. And he was, dude. I know his family just as well as he knows his family. Because, like, you know, we're almost the same age and fuck we met almost the same time we were born and I always knew that they're not technically on the level when it comes to things and you know they're so I I half believed it that's why I had to confirm with you and then I was in denial like maybe if he knows something if Joel knows something you know it ain't, it, it ain't true yeah you know and that's why I called you to just that was a hard call to make, dude. That was a real hard call. To make. I remember the day you called me too. I was on a date with a girl, dude. I remember and I remember just driving, and you called me on my cell. I remember I picked up and yeah, it was bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was rough, man. I mean, it's just like it's just something I never ever got over. You know. Yeah. yeah. You know what's in, like um. I think we all we've at that age where we have like fam, either family members or you know friends pass away, but like Angel's one of them that I still hear. You know, I still hear his laugh. I might be randomly yeah. driving. <laughs> yeah, and his I, fucking unique laugh. Yeah, I swear yeah. it's like I, I like you know sometimes you say bye to people and you know they passed, but for whatever reason I know Angel's like still here sometimes. Yes. Like yeah. he pops in. Yeah, I don't know about you guys if you like you know. Yeah. You I'm always telling some kind of Angel story, you know. Right. Uh, I'm just not on the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just always think that he's out of touch right now because he's fucking working some odd job or <laughs> some shit, and you know he's dating some fucking chick. Because you know he when he would date somebody like legit, yeah, someone someone around his age group, yeah, he he was fucking sprung. Yeah, yeah. he, was, he, he would fear. fucking he get sprung. Quick. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he wasn't he dating a mod at one point. Nah, you know he was dating homegirl that lived like a couple houses down from him, right? <laughs> yeah. He was with that chick for a little while, right? Yeah. Stella or some shit. Yeah. It's, it's funny because... And he I, would disappear. Yeah. When his, yeah. When that chick was in his life, he was in... He, when she was in his life, he was not in ours, dude. He was like, fuck it. I'm going to fuck her a goal. And he goes, hey, I'm going to go see my girl. I'm like, all right, dude, we'll see you later, dude. He, he can borrow five bucks. <laughs> I, I let him five bucks, knowing I'm never ever going to see those fucking five dollars again, dick. 
<laughs> so fucking, uh, he'd always come back. He's like, yeah, I spent some time with a girl. Hey, Dick, but I got a number, dick. <laughs> yeah, I was at her on the phone. <laughs> and and she lived around the fucking corner, yeah. so he picked up a girl from around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> on the way to his girl's house. No, but I was trying to finish the story. I just couldn't do it, but I'll try to finish Cut it. Cut him off again, dick. No, um, I, um... I remember when you called me, dude, I knew, like he said, dude, when you told me, dude, I got something to tell you, man. I was like, what's going on? I already, something told me. Yeah. Like, you could tell. I remember I looked at my date, I was with, I was like, we got to go. Yeah. I straight, I just cut the date off, dude. And it's like, I remember he's going home, I called you, I called you all about it, dude, because it was, it was too unreal, man. Like, you know, it's like, how could that happen? Yeah. It was just too unreal. And then, I remember my, the, the girl I was with, she was like, what happened? I'm like, you know what? I told the story and she was like, wow. Sounds like he was a very special guy, and I'm like he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was I was uh, I was working a job with Terry in in Camp Pendleton, and I carpooled there, and I couldn't go home. Like I, I'm like I, I just told him I gotta go, I gotta go. Mm-hmm. My fucking brother just died. I, I gotta go, you know. And then they they wouldn't let me go, and I was just like I'm leaving. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm leaving. Remember I was stuck in Camp Pendleton, Dick, mm-hmm. and I I couldn't get out. And uh, I remember I found out the the following day. After you guys found out, Joe called me. I was at fucking Home Depot, and I just remember uh, I was in line no, waiting you, to fucking pay. You, no, you knew the same day because you called me, and I was still in the Camp Pendleton. Somebody fucking told me. To, well, I don't know. Well, I was at Home Depot, and I was fucking paying, and well, I remember I, you I called me. You, right? Yeah, you told I, me. I asked you, hey, have you talked to Chris? Yeah. Remember? Because I had talked to him about uh, he might have thought he was in jail. So fucking, uh, yeah, I'm in line, and yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I, was I had just bought this house. So I was buying stuff, and then fucking... I still remember uh, just fucking just dropping everything and just like, fuck. And all right, Dick, see you later. <laughs> that was it, Dick. Mm-hmm. Fucking, that's the last thing I fucking remember, dude. And then the whole like following week was a fucking blank, dude. Yeah. That was a rough one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it certainly was. It's always hard to believe, you know? Like, yeah. I remember Danny called me and you told me, and I was just like in disbelief. Um, it's funny because I was talking to my wife and I said, did you ever meet him? Because I don't remember if you met him or whatever. She's like, yeah, I met him at some party, some backyard party, whatever. He was like really funny. Mm-hmm. It's like, huh, that's funny. Like the impression that she got with him was like one, two minutes of meeting him, you know? Yeah. I'm like, but that's him all the time, you know? Like funny dude, very charismatic. So, yeah, good memories. Yep. He's a he's he's the reason I'm here, you know. Like like doing this, agreeing to be on this podcast is because I had great conversations, com- better conversations I had with anybody about music, and I loved it, and I and I crave it to this day, and that's why I, I do what I do here is because I want to talk about music like I did with him. Yeah. I guess I don't know. It was just that's what it is. Right, save dude. it for the next podcast. <laughs> yeah. This is supposed to be a sad and somber one, dude. <laughs> yeah. Not even that. Not even that. Yeah, we were, we got that. We went we're celebrating that. life of Angel Man. Oh yeah, dude. There's peaks and valleys in this podcast. Let's pretend we there. have alcohol in our hands and cheers, dude. Cheers. Yeah. cheers. I actually cheers. May have alcohol. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Never to that. Hey, hey, tap that fucking nine times around for us, dude. <laughs> nine times. Just. Dude, this guy's doing the influence. You want to make him tap tight nine times? <laughs> Makes you know. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a drink, cuts. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before I get into this, I've been looking over that Ricky Retardo yayo. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bump. Go for it. People are going to believe. White stuff. Believe. Bumps and a pump. Man yeah. a hump. People are going to believe <laughs> like that you're actually. My mom would be proud of <laughs> Did you see how that long finger now? Yeah. Shout out to Mrs. Garvey. That's muy tarde, Jaime. Take that shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Take that shit. laughs> Cada noche vienen tarde, Jaime. That's muy tarde. <laughs> I swear Joel has a photographic memory. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Dude. We used to fucking... Uh, can I really say this on here? Yeah. Smoking all that weed in front of my house. My mom coming out at 2 o'clock in the morning, fucking baking, fucking making pancakes at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> fucking angel right there, fucking in my bed, fucking trying to look out with fucking tamales in his pocket. And, yeah. Sounds good right now. <laughs> good <laughs> story. Tamales de fruta. That's right. Oh shit. So we only have what, 20 minutes? Yeah, about. We're talking about music. Do it. We're talking about Angel. 
yeah. where you think he would have been right now from all the background of different variety bands that he played in from when we started fucking around as a, as a band mm -hmm. we'll play cumbia you know fucking be fucking around we'll play walking jazz play some blues with his little yeah. dance he little would kick dances. his legs <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. and the way you start you know flowing into different styles and mm -hmm. just you know with rug hip hop you know variety so coming from all that background of rich music you know mm -hmm. where would you think he would have been now as far as what you have Bruno Mars you have you know more of digital you know mm. what would you think would have been his, his originality because he was original he probably would have been a mumble rapper dude. <laughs> 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 he, he follows not only so he follows the trend yeah, but he, he kind of falls in line with that kind of stuff dude. I could see him with the face tattoo yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, I, he already did I, have a face little, tattoo little lacra <laughs> little lacra <laughs> little lacra I'll tell you what he would have outdone all them fucking limb biscuit motherfuckers and all like when that rock rap shit was happening. Yeah, dude, Angel would have fucking dominated that shit, dude, because he could do both. Mm -hmm. I, I so. think, as all of respect, it wasn't just more of his lyrics. It was, uh, he was a performer. Oh you know? yeah, you know that's what he was. That's what got a lot of attention from everybody. You know, it, it looked like a crazy motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you know, talk about a childhood with Joey was talking about that one uh, gig we played at. Um, that's in, true. At, at Mental Bar. And uh, he fucking started the, the song with a jump and he fucking split his head open, mm -hmm. you know? And he was bleeding like crazy, but he kept on going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's. I wonder if that was like part of his, like before his quiet moment, maybe it was like mustering up all that energy to like mm. put on a show. Uh, to, clear, part of his process. to clear one up thing, uh, guys, what he, what you know, what um, Chris was saying about why he would like, after every performance, he would just walk alone because he, he was talking to his mom. Mm -hmm. That's what he told me. He's telling me, like, I'm really? talking to my mom. Yeah. That's the only my mom. Yeah, he's that's always, what, he was always saying, like, Damn, look, I didn't really look, look at me, mom, now. Like, check this yeah. out, mom. That's what you say all the time. So I, I was following around, but I'll give him oh. a space. I'll be yeah. probably like about 20 feet away mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. But if he would have made it, I mean, I, he made it that far because of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? We were always there for him. He always slept on my house. I had to give him my bed. You know, I cooked for him. Mm -hmm. You know, I fucking <laughs> showered his ass. Fucking so made, <laughs> <laughs> okay, made him jump in the shower, you know? <laughs> We were all there for him, but unfortunately, I mean, we have our own lives to, to yeah. live, and we couldn't be there for him. So we can't feel guilty. You know, the only thing that yeah. hurts is being selfish of the memories that we hold. Yep. But back to music, where would he have been? You know, as far as all the background that he had, all his experiences of music, the combination, that would have been something original, something new that, mm -hmm. you know, he would have put HP on the map. Yeah. 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 I would have think that. Because I think he would have been writing for other people, too. Like, just the way he wrote and how he had melody and everything. I think he would have been, like, besides his own thing, he would have been writing music for, like, celebrities and artists and all that shit. He was really good at that. Mm -hmm. Think he'd still be a tiger dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I know, I, I know. When I, the last time I saw him, he was fucking, he was tagging on my fucking furniture, dick. On your furniture? <laughs> I had the, 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 the seats in the back. He Wait, was like, what, what would he tag? A.S.? What was AS? Whatever fucking tagging crew that was. That <laughs> <laughs> it was a aftershock. That's what it was called. <laughs> aftershock. Yeah, aftershock. Was it always yeah. stone? No, I, think I, it was think it was, I think it was always stone. Was it or was it aftershock? I, no, it was always stone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's hard to say where where he would be, dude. Honestly, I I could see him kind of following the train and, and just to keep that type of uh, music going with him. He he probably start mumble rapping. Honestly, hmm. I think he would have gave it up. Honestly, I think he would have been he would have been done with it, and uh, he would have stayed with this girl with this kid because the one thing Angel wanted more than fame and fortune was a family. Yep. Well, it wasn't the same, man. But when he had us, we were still all in music together. He yeah. had a path. He had, yeah, you know, a goal where to go to, and he was getting there. But I mean, we live our lives, and yeah, fortunately, he he got uh, away from the music. Yeah. He he distanced himself. <clears throat> and yeah, one thing we never mentioned is that, you know, he had a kid coming. Yeah, he had a baby. Uh, his kid was born, what, two weeks after he died? Yeah. Yeah, dude. What was her name? Kaylee? Kayla? He was, she was born the day he was cremated. Yeah. Wow. Go, go figure. Where do you think he would have been read with all his musical background and how to, versatile he is? To be honest, I don't know. Like, we all could have been somewhere. I could have took music and who knows who I would have gone, right? Um, but if he would have been around... We still kept in touch, you know, and we we're still talking about music. But again, when we we're supposed to get together, he wouldn't show. Hmm. So I was like, I, I only could do so much. 
you know, he has to play his part. So that's why I just distanced myself. Right. But um, I think it would have been something live, like what I always said. Live music is always a good flavor, you know. And he was a performer. And when I played with him, I loved to play with him, and I could see us. And we all talked about that before, you know. Mm-hmm. And I still see it. Yeah. And something so beautiful, and it's what he had. Music was in, was inside of him. And that you could see that beauty. He, he blossomed because of the music, you know. Right. His personality, his character, the way he mm-hmm. carried himself. Yeah. As an awesome guy. I think that whole music thing just kept him out of trouble. You know, we we're saying earlier, like, you know, how he had a tough childhood and right. mm-hmm. a lot of people, the odds are against them. But because of the music, I think that kept him focused, kept him around you guys, and he didn't stray the other way. You know, I really think, as cliche as it sounds, like music saved him, right? Up to a certain point. But music, for the most part, was always in the mix. And I think that kept him out of a lot of trouble. Right. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who said that? I was, I was, he, he was ambient, I look, I ambient that voice. Buck. He was 10 foot. It was the ambient Kanona <laughs> yeah. He was loud. I looked at Buck, dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's fast forward. I do agree, too. So let's fast forward 10 years. At least it would have been alive. He would have, you know, made it with all that money. But, but it's still his mentality. I, it been. I don't know. It would have been hard to do it with that mentality. I think. I think all he's that, right. All that fame, that pressure. No, yeah. it's, it's he ain't wanted to do it for the fame. He never yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, he wanted exactly, to be liked. <laughs> that's exactly why he wanted to do it. No, he didn't want to do it for like the big fame. He didn't want. He never wanted to be big, big. He just wanted to fucking have like recognition from people, dude. That was it. And he never. I mean, I don't know how to say. He never really wanted to impress anybody. He just wanted to do it for himself. Yeah, he never. I never heard him say I wanted to be famous. He never said he wanted to be famous, dude. He just said I'm, I'm doing this for myself. I want to do this for my mom and shit like that, dude. I never said. I never heard him say like I want to fucking be rich and famous. Never. He never had that rock star yeah. attitude, dude. What he did talk about was performing. Like I want to do this or I want to do that. He always wanted That's to have his own studio. Maybe it was just maybe self-expression because mm-hmm. you know, like if he really wanted to, and we were all there and. You know, we try to push him where we couldn't, you know, couldn't yeah. find him. So that just says it. But even though we all loved him, and, mm-hmm. you know, he he did what he loved. And I just remember yeah. he, he gets on, like he'll come over once in a while. He'll be like, "Hey, fucking Fernando's gonna sign us, Dig. He's gonna sign us to inner school." He was all <laughs> fucking excited, Dig. <laughs> and I'm like, "Dig, it's not gonna happen, Dig. <laughs> no, Dig, it's gonna fucking happen. He talked to us, Dig. <laughs> <laughs> you get all fucking excited, dude. Well, maybe he did want to be big." He just didn't express it mostly all the time. You know, he probably kept it to himself. I don't know. I never saw that in him. I never saw that that fame. He liked being recognized. That's it. I think being big and famous probably yeah. means two different things. Yeah. Right? To, yeah, definitely to him. He, he he wanted. I mean, he wanted to be like Kurt Cobain for the longest fucking time, dude. And then, but he also hated the fact how he turned out. That if Kurt Cobain hated the fucking fame. And Angel's like the same fucking, the same way. He he didn't want the fame. He didn't want to be in the limelight like that. He just wanted to be, you know, people to know his fucking name and that he sang, he played guitar. And I, I just never saw him as, he never wanted to make money. He just wanted to be known to make good music. Yeah, that was like, it. To the Kurt Cobain point, like he knows people admired the dude, you know. Yeah. And I think that, not the money, the. He wanted well, that respect. Yeah, that yeah. respect. I think yeah. that's what he was. More respect, for. yeah. I can't speak for the future, but I know that, that right. he was not the greatest singer in the world, and he wasn't the greatest songwriter in the world by any stretch of the imagination. He wasn't particularly talented in any given instrument, but what he did have was the ability to touch everybody's life that he came in contact with right. and became and made them subconsciously loyal to him. Like, fucking you know i used to work odd jobs with him you know like sometimes and <clears throat> he fucking anybody he met would even give him a ride give him money you know share lunch with him <laughs> buy burritos <laughs> yeah <laughs> pitching for the studio time yeah so oh, it was just like that that's just like something that he had, and he had charisma, and he had right. a loving heart, you know? Also, like, I think one of the things we should mention is, like, he he always seemed young at heart. And yeah. I think that's part of his charm is yeah. even, you know, the last few years, he never changed. He was like that, you know, it's probably why people gravitated, him, gravitated to him as well. It's mm-hmm. like he was very non-threatening, like a kid, and he was youthful in that way. 
mm-hmm. you know, I think that's what it is. I mean, yeah. I think it was that, that innocence. You know, he wasn't innocent by any sense of the script. <laughs> right. <laughs> in any way, yeah, but, but he had that innocent or the aura of innocence, you know, yeah. that spirit of innocence, that essence. And then, mm-hmm. you know, that, that, you know, that's what people just looked into, you know, and he was someone that I, you know, like when we hung out together by ourselves, you know, I was my silly self, you know, like I was outside of, because I knew him as a child. So we could, right. you know, like fucking, we had that, that old school mm-hmm. way of acting with each other, you know, and we weren't fucking... We were just hanging out with ourselves. See, I remember sort of, spending all that time with him in the garage, and we always fucking watch Half Baked <laughs> <laughs> over and over oh, yeah. and over. He you would guys. repeat fucking Scarface's lines all fucking day to the point like, "Shut the fuck up, Dick! Just watch Blood and Blood out." <laughs> <laughs> so that's where he got it from. There's a point where he was, he was always saying "B." Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's that, that? B? I was like, Hey, right. no joke. We watched that shit six times in a fucking row on a weekend. Yeah, dude. Christ. Dude, I slept a few times through it, and he's all fucking like, it's the first time he saw that shit, yeah. dude. Yo, B. Yo, B. Yeah, he he kill killer B. Yeah. Yeah. It was the nunchucks, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he, I don't know if you ever heard him say that, that, that I'm high on intellectual listenings. You ever heard him say that? No. no. He always just say that to me. He's like, yeah, I'm just high on intellectual listenings, Chris. <laughs> And I was like, where the fuck did he get that from? I know he got that shit from somewhere. He couldn't fucking make that shit up himself. <laughs> Ain't that fucking smart, you know? And then I fucking was, you know, just randomly have the fucking radio on. And a Sheryl Crow song comes on the every day is the winding road. And it has that lyric, I am high on intellectual listenings. And you know, <laughs> I'm like, dude, this fool got this fucking thing from a Sheryl Crow song? That shows you his range of listening, dude. That's, yeah, that's, that's, shit, what, dude. that's hilarious. Yeah, he listened to fucking everything there's that everything, was out there, man. man. Yeah. But to actually actually quote the fucking <laughs> the song, you know, is, which is odd. No, you always picked up little things from everything that was around him, dude. Yeah. He fucking look at look when he was playing baseball. Fucking he looked Griffey. Oh, yeah. He fucking do the oh, yeah. thing and stop. Oh, yeah. And then they, they fucking admire himself. And I, I don't know. I mean, this is I don't want to say it's forward thinking at all, but he used to do like the camera, like a selfie. Yeah, he was the first person who ever sent me like a selfie. <laughs> no joke. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah you would take at work with his orange yeah. like shirt. Yeah, you're right. He was saying, I'm like, crazy. why is Angel? His fucking phone, his phone had nothing but selfies. And he was probably the first person I saw, like, do, like, duck That's lips true. or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, we're clear. Angel invented the selfie. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. There it is. Oh, there it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I had all yeah. the. <laughs> yeah. He also invented duck lips. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> what year is that? Look, put the year 2008. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. 2008, he was like sending us. To, that's like that's freaking funny. The, the one kissing right there, dude. I know. Look, I wonder how many dude. fucking women he sent those pictures to. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, the one him taking the shit, Nick. Look. <laughs> <laughs> these are like honestly. Good thing he didn't like, see Snapchat, dude. These are wow. like some of my favorite fucking pictures of him right here, dude. Slow ass computer. That's a great fucking picture. Okay. Fucking best picture, but... I know that's kind of dark, man. <laughs> these right here, where he has... There it is. <laughs> the Mexico hat. <laughs> that's that's when he used to work at that fucking... Uh, that yard, huh? Yeah. And Garfield, right? <laughs> 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 With his fucking pencil thin goatee. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look how many selfies, dude. That was a weird fucking picture, dude. That was in Joel's room. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking Chris with this depressing ass fucking haircut, dude. And he looks like <laughs> looks like Steve Ochoa. <laughs> he was all ashamed of that tattoo, dude. What tattoo? The LA? No, the Aztec one. He was ashamed of it? Why? It's fucking, it came out all fucked up, dude. That's so funny. That was just funny. I just don't always remember those fucking pictures of them, dude. That had yeah. the picture of drugs. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he ever send you that one? The, <laughs> remember, we had to steal the phone to get all these fucking pictures? Yeah. Dude? Yeah, I gotta have to look at my old phone. There it is, dude. Wow. <laughs> 
tell, exp- awesome, explain man. what we're looking at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you, dude. So I, I'm, I'm talking him into making the pins for us <laughs> of Angel like that, dude. I was going to say, this will make a great album cover Fuck for something, yeah, dude. dude. You know what, though? I'm telling you right now. Tell everybody what we're looking at right now. Well, no, I don't think we could do it justice without telling the whole story, but uh, well, we can't that, tell the yeah. whole story. It'll <laughs> well, that, that's what we're here to tell the story, so why not tell it? Tell the story. Well, we won't say any names, but somebody's smoking weed and want to take a piss, so you went into the fucking uh, special ed classes underneath the auditorium to go take a piss. They're smoking <laughs> weed in there. He's holding up a plant. Angel walks in, sees the dare, don't do drugs fucking poster, pulls off a, 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 a pin, a, a button. button. Yeah. That says no drugs. Our drugs and crossed out. Crossed out. And he's holding it up in one hand with another <laughs> oh, the joint in the other hand. <laughs> High as fuck, wearing my fucking puto mask. <laughs> was this under the auditorium? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I won't say the person's name. I was pissing in the sink, but he's in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not Buck. <laughs> these are all. There's his blonde. Hey, you know where this one's taken? When we want to go see the California takeover on the bus. Wow, yeah. That's on that's on the bus. That's on the bus? Yeah. It was Carlos. Oh shit. Wow. wow. <laughs> you look like you have AIDS in that picture, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Holy shit. Type five and home. He dropped me off at some girls' house here. It was him and Bobby. With this fucking I do have mad hairstyles, man. Yeah, no like shit. He got dude. through a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's when they welcome me back from Korea, dude. Hmm. Angel, first first gig, dude. Look, the green cardigan sweater came from my mom's drawer. <laughs> the Dick Kennedys came from my closet. I'm pretty sure those fucking shoes were mine, dig. <laughs> I was I was Angel's playlist. There was a belt. Look, I, I, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what I'm. Yeah, he put here. he put a fucking a dickhead. He drew a dickhead on the tip of his belt. Dude, those oh. are the size fifty twos with that stolen corn fucking jacket. <laughs> okay. Oh, <wow. laughs> you look like a fucking like. <laughs> that, was, that was a famous garage. That's uh, that's an garage, indigenous yeah. ass picture. Look at that. Everybody looks all greasy and. I remember that. <laughs> that was the uh, barbecue flan. Oh, dig that fucking homemade fucking PA rack. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I forgot about that. The red was his oversized Adidas jacket, or is yeah. that the Dotus? Fucking is that Joe? Dude? He looks like a Puerto Rican drug dealer in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> At wow. the California Takeover, one of the um, Thanksgiving, not so Thanksgiving thing. That's not my Burn. house. Yeah, it is. We're in is it? Yeah. Shirt. Oh shit! It is my house. Remember, remember that uh, oh, yeah. eighteen vision shirt he looked like a, it, it looked like a Barrio eighteen. <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> street shirt. <laughs> that spooky's black fag shirt, by the way. Look like his rock star ass dig. <laughs> Look how much that's like double Chris right there, dude. <laughs> I was a big boy. That's at night too, dude. Yeah. That's at the bus stop, I think, or somewhere yeah. in Hollywood. That's that yeah, that's that Cubs so jersey that, that Fireball wore. Uh, oh, for walking, walking back from the beach, dig, and he had all the little pin spot <laughs> fucking sunburns. <laughs> that was the first picture I ever did, dude. Oh, dude, look at that shit. Oh. Chris looks like a ninja turtle right there. <laughs> 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 Nobody. I was a big boy. Look at uh, Angel with his phone. He's always on the phone. You know, he, he, that was Bobby's. He, he used to go ask Bobby's mom for the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny how you see how he used to call everybody and you know just wish them like right. good vibes and shit. Yeah, he was always doing that in other people's phones. Yep. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never his own. Yeah, because as soon as I, he'd get to my house, he'd pick up my phone. Yeah, That's yeah, funny. Yeah. Hey, can you give me more Bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, all of them. That was baby picture too, dude. Really? What? I want to see those. I to find them. Oh, wow. wow. Holy shit, dude. Oh, you got that fucking one. Wow. Check out the, check out the, the next one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I saw it. That wow. one, dig. <laughs> I told you to see him on that, dude. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to... Where is he? He's like 1983 fucking great oh. kindergarten, right, dig? <laughs> Were you in that picture, dig? No, that was his actual kindergarten class. 
not two years later, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he was in kindergarten two years before I got to kindergarten. Dick. He looks, he like looks when grown. You were older. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly <laughs> like somebody photoshopped his older head <laughs> on that little body. <laughs> that was a precursor. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We got <laughs> we gotta make that <laughs> we gotta make that a, a, an official oh clica God. fucking like hey I'm a member uh, dude. presented oh, by fucking so Fernando yeah. Valenzuela yeah, fuck yeah, dude he looks like the night stalker in that illustration dude hey, <laughs> that's the last dude. time Angel fucking got an attendance award at school <laughs> that's the only award he got at school. <laughs> Dude, look at the fucking teachers, dick. They look old. Like, there's a look, dick. Oh, what? Dude. What? <laughs> That's the acid look right there. Wow. Oh <laughs> my God. Look at me, dick. <laughs> look at my ass, dick. That's twice that's Rick you? right there. That's me, dick. Whoa. That's me and that's Angel. Remember, I'm fucking two years younger than Angel, dick. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking third grade. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bunch of heads in this one, dude. You think they're great? Yeah, it's because in kindergarten in 1983, dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, go back to the kindergarten picture in 1983, dick. Look at the fucking dick. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. Oh, dude. Kevily, how you clean? Look, look. How you get these pictures, man? Eh? Fucking Miss Tango. This is the, the special class, dude. Look, yeah. <laughs> look how out of place and uncomfortable he looks there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows they're supposed to be there, dick. <laughs> <laughs> he took the ugliest fucking baby Whoa. pictures, dude. <laughs> dick, I had him in. I had him in the fifth grade too. See, but look at this one. This is grade grade two through five, dick. Yeah, it's like what fucking class is this, dick? I had him for Miss O'Shea, dude. Look at that, dude. He looked like a fucking ugly Ralph <laughs> Macchio. <laughs> 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 it looks like fucking Daniel LaRusso, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Remember those G.A. Joe costumes, dude? That's all plastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's when you know you're Whoa. a bro. Look at that. He looks like he's, he's older, dude. He's old again. Shit. That's all. No shit. Just shave his head, dude. Yeah. Wow. He's holding hands. His first girlfriend, dude. <laughs> That's probably the oldest girlfriend he had. <laughs> That's his cousin, dude. <laughs> 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 Should take out the next one, dude. Spooky up there. Yeah, you see Spooky in the corner? Yeah. Wow. They look like fucking like Salvadorian militias. I was going to say, dude. I'm like... <laughs> With the bikes. From, the my, from my neck of the woods. That's the fucking Contra, dick. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Spooky. Look at the fucking shorts, dick. Damn, there it is, dude. Look at that pose. <laughs> hey, and this is the first hood rat pose from Instagram, dude. <laughs> That's where these bitches got it from. He dude. looks like one of those security guards from Narcos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All the homemade guns? Yeah, we used to make our own guns. Got a nice bike. Is that his mom? It's his mom. Yeah, that's wow. him. His mom again, right there, his grandma. Wow. I'm real dark. Look at his shoelace stick. Nothing makes us. Nothing says I just graduated a special ed class <laughs> with fucking tight shoelaces, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the and then puberty kicked in. Uh, oh, check this out. Right. I think that's the next picture. It's <laughs> There's one up there with the uh, famous fucking Tweety shirt. This fucking Miguel. Mm -hmm. That's the other Miguel. His first communion. <laughs> uh, his fucking answer yeah, is straight cholas, dude. They're fucking there it is. Look at the shirt, dick. Oh, yeah. Fucking Wally Coyote. That was a gauge. Shirt, that was gauge, dude. yep. Fucking Monopoly. You know that motherfucker never won that shit, dick. <laughs> first communion. That's wow. fucking funny. This is the one I want to print out for the candle, dick. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking Mentiritos right there, dick. <laughs> That fucking doodle down there, too. Yeah, it's doodle right there. How, hey, Rick, how you come up with these pictures? Uh, we stole them from his family. <laughs> That's it? Oh, shit, the tiger. <laughs> three years. And the fucking, look at the oh, pimples, eh? The one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> so remember when we That's told him that uh, you could use uh, toothpaste to clear out your fucking pimples? 
And he had fucking toothpaste wiped all over his forehead. <laughs> and we're like, no, they put it in his pocket. <laughs> it looks like he was wearing a Biore mask. Oh, fuck, dude. Hey, the perfect attendance award with Fernando by Fernando Valenzuela. Dick, we got to get that shit as a location. That's hilarious. Dude. All right, man. All right. That's it. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's it. It's an honor to be here, Seven fellas. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Thanks. A quick moment of silence, dude. Yeah, hold on. You know what, though? If Angel's still here, he'll be the fucking best damn fucking podcaster at this table right now, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's what he'll be doing in 10 years, dude. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> He's fucking talking no, about we'd, shit. No, we'd be right now driving around looking for his ass to tell you a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, shit. They'd be flicking out on that. All right. Signing out. All right. All right. Peace. Bueno, bueno. Sí, bueno, ¿cómo estás? Ya, yeah, muy bien, cabrón. ¿Tú? <laughs> Alex, you're going to be, you're going to have the honor of being the first story on the Angel podcast. Nice. <laughs> All right, so give us a story, Dick. Well, is there any intro into it? Like, are, is everybody going to introduce themselves, or how are we doing this? Or am I going straight to story? All raw dog. Raw dog, it, Dick. <laughs> All right, cool. Um... <laughs> Y'all remember Officer Bassett, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about this one earlier today, too, and the hilarity behind it. The, it was uh, this one day, 20-plus uh, years ago, whatever it was, and Angel and I were hanging out outside of my old house after band practice. We were smoking cigarettes, just minding our own business. <laughs> And it was just he and I. Everybody else was, had gone off or done something. Anyway, we were just standing there smoking, and we looked down the down Regent Street, and we see cop car coming. Well, whatever. I kind of figured that uh, whatever police officer it was was going to stop and harass us because, well, that's what HP does. Yep. Especially but, yeah, white boy so, involved. <laughs> Yeah, a white boy and a Mexican standing in front of a house. They well, must be causing no, problems. There's not drugs involved or anything. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> but, yeah, there was no drugs involved. It was just we were there. So, yeah, uh, Bassett pulls over. And he, he orders us to step to the side or something. They had no idea what he was barking at us about. So it took a few times for, a, for us to understand what he was saying. So we finally did it. So we got over to this, onto the sidewalk and blah, blah, blah. Then um, he starts checking, searching us, make sure we don't have any contraband, any, any of that <laughs> stuff, the usual. Um, <laughs> so he stops searching, searching us, and he then begins to talk to us. I guess he wanted to build like a repertoire or some shit with us like we're like he was trying to be cool with us and he started regaling us with stories of this time in the uh the gulf war it's like okay well this we didn't ask for this but all right cool um, <laughs> telling us stories and this angel was on his skateboard and whatnot he was going to be a skater and all the all this fun stuff um we were standing there talking, and I forgot who it was. Someone else in the neighborhood had come up to us while we were talking. They just randomly walked up to us. And they started talking about it and whatnot. So I took this opportunity to go back into the house because I remembered, for whatever reason, I came upon, like, a box of those KNAC stickers, the 105.5 Pure Rock yeah. sticker, bumper stickers. <laughs> The one and that everybody I'm had like, on anything but a bumper? Everybody had. Yeah. And I, everybody had like two or three of them per car. So, whatever. I get those and I come back outside with the intent of slapping one of those onto the back of the car. But yeah. Bassett's standing there. Um, uh, he's still standing there. And then he finally gets, he's standing there talking to us. And he finally decides to get back into his car. We, th we thought he was going to leave. No, no, he sat there a lot longer talking to us. And <clears throat> I see Angel 
and I have like <laughs> like a brick of these K and A C stickers, and I'm wondering, well, you know, how can I do this? He's looking, Bass is looking right at me. I can't do this in front of him, and whatever this, I forget who this other person was was also talking with Bassett. It may have been Bobby, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But he distracted Bassett. So I walk up to Angel. I'm like, hey, dude, get one of these stickers and, like, yeah. pretend to bump into the back of uh, Bassett's patrol car and slap the, the sticker on it. And <laughs> Angel goes, no, no, dog. I'm like, yeah, just, just do it, bro. <laughs> it, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> So I give him the sticker, and he goes, all right, all right, watch, watch. You know how Angel always did. And yeah, watch. So I go back to the passenger side of the police car, and we're we're talking with Bassett. Angel skateboards around the car a few times, is doing circles, and then all of a sudden he just, like, oops, bumps into the back of the, the patrol car, and in doing so, slaps the sticker onto the back of the bumper. John, right? Uh, no, this was uh, this was on Regent. All right. <laughs> so we talked with Bass, and I see that Angel did it, and I'm like, I'm, I'm almost, I almost have blood pour, pouring out of my mouth because I'm biting my lip from not from trying not to laugh. You want to rat him out? No, of course <laughs> not. So then all goes well, and we we part ways. Bass takes off, and <laughs> like. Maybe a week later, um, I, I don't know what I was doing. I was wandering around the neighborhood, and Bassett sees me. He stops me. He's furious. Yeah. He almost throws me onto the ground. He's telling me, I got in so much trouble with my boss because of that <laughs> sticker on the car. I'm like, what sticker are you talking about? <laughs> that KNAC sticker. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about. You're the one who had the sticker that gave it to your friend. I'm like, I have no idea what you're saying, sir. <laughs> so he lets me go. And correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think maybe a few days later, this was the infamous incident right outside of Chris's house that night when Bassett found Angel. We were all with him at the same time. And it was that night where he got all of them out of the circle park, I think it was. Yeah. And had everybody put their hands on, on the hood of his car. <laughs> and then <laughs> Angel with his baggy pants and no belt or with belt, but size 50 waist pants, whatever it was. And he <laughs> told Angel, hey, spread your legs. <laughs> He's like, he spread his legs, but he didn't want his pants to drop. <laughs> <laughs> Bass is like, and Angel's like, I, I just spread my legs. No, I said spread your legs, and he kicked his, his legs out <laughs> even farther and then went down went his pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is like your pants fell, Dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, you guys had to see that shit, dude. Fucking, that cop kicked his foot over and just his pants fucking just dropped, Dick. <laughs> 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 These his fucking skinny-ass legs. 